Master's time is now. What is going on, you beauties out there, you slayers? Uh, welcome back. I feel like it's been a couple weeks there, Hugo. How you feeling, man? Hugo Martin, game director, edit software of Doom Eternal. Feeling going? good. Yeah. How am I positioned here on camera? Is it all good? I could see myself. It's perfect. Look at you. You're perfect. Centered. Look at that. Yes. Um, Print it out in frame. I'm good. We have a lot of game to play tonight. <laughs> we and, do. Uh, you know, let's just, uh, there's not a lot to talk about. I mean, I feel like the community has been very quiet over these past <laughs> week. And so let's just play. Why would we talk about anything? Uh, no, the Mr. Rogers uh, nerd corner portion of this show is going to be a little shorter today. Okay. Because Josh and I have a lot of catching up to do with video game playing. We do. And um, so I might be here for three hours. So buckle up because it's going to be a long stream. That's right. But of course, Josh, it, we have to address the controversy. Let's talk about the controversy. What should, where should we start? Well, see, uh, the fun thing about uh, 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 whenever we release content is it always comes with both the love, the support, the uh, appreciation, and of course, the drama-rama. Like, we can't just release yes. something without drama-rama because it's 2021 and because 
we're all in quarantine. We're all still doing this pandemic thing. And, you know, emotions run high. And that's okay because it's coming yeah, from yeah. a place of passion and of, you know, loving something so much that, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, people just, they get either in their heads or in their emotions or, you know, we've seen a lot of, so, okay, I'm backing up to start at the beginning. So at the beginning, we saw a lot of reviews coming in for, by the way, we just released uh, Ancient Gods Part 2. Thank you, everybody, for, yes. for already who has been playing and giving us this feedback. So we saw this huge um, deluge of, like, positivity and people being like, oh, my God, we saw people like, God, there was Midnight, Ghostface, all these people were oh, streaming yeah. and playing, no, we, right? And and we watched all the streams, and it was a, it was a glorious, you know, first opening day of... Uh, of tag two. I yeah. mean, the, uh, I think the initial playthrough of tag two for the majority of the player base is, uh, was an enjoyable experience. I mean, I watched that firsthand happen, you mm -hmm. know, uh, Tyler McVicker and, you know, all kinds of people all yeah. the way from like larger, you know, uh, YouTube influencers like Crow Carnage, uh, him playing through and just having a good time to like some of our other players like midnight and stuff. So like it was, it was glorious. And I, and, Real time, we were celebrating because it was like, oh, they're having a good time. That's great, which is all we ever wanted. But <laughs> as time went on and people started learning the hammer more and subsequent yeah. playthroughs and, you know, really starting to dig into it or and it's it's wrong to say that everybody loved it outright right from the beginning. Of course, there totally. would be a certain tier of of Doom players who, you know, are pretty tough to to satisfy when it comes to challenge on this type of experience, a base game experience, again, sure. not a master level. So then we saw it, uh, they, they wanted it, they wanted more, they wanted more challenge, which is fair. I think it's fair. Um, ultimately, no one's wrong. That's it. Like, uh, we're at the point with, with uh, development of the game that more than ever, I think we need uh, master level content, you know, to be able to reach uh, the very top echelon of players. Uh, I think the criticism of Tag 2 from our from our top-tier players who are looking for more challenges is mm -hmm. valid. I mean, it's or, or anyone. I don't even want to just say it's top-tier players. The, the um, Can things be better? Absolutely. You know, like, do I wish the Dark Lord got out of his suit? And So I, I wanted to have a, a mech battle with the Dark Lord. And, and you know like uh, and he transforms into a dragon it's a DLC <laughs> that is the reality it yeah. is it is not a full game so just so people know like you know we're very transparent I tell you guys everything you know a normal boss fight in a base game takes minimum a year like but a year let's just say right so the gladiator took two years that's how long the gladiator took Damn. Um, and that's that's normal now I would say that the team has gotten much faster and more efficient and by the way hopefully chat my microphone is better. We made some changes to the microphone. Is yeah, it better? How, how are we sounding, everybody? We sounded okay? Seeing it's pretty good. It's swinging. Okay, good. Cutting out just so, a little bit. Sounds solid. Okay. So, um, so yeah, it's just it just the realities of a DLC. It's, it's you know, it's post-launch content. You know, we can't... The only reason why that stuff is not there is because we don't have time to put it in there. Let's save, let's save that stuff for a main game. Uh, is it a shame? Do we wish that we could have done multi-stages and more drama and he takes different forms? I, I thought it would be cool if he took like a monster form, something huge, and you engaged him with a mech or something. But all of this stuff is just like, unfortunately, at the scope of it would fit into a main game, not necessarily post-launch content. Uh, that's to say, like, you know, criticisms aside of the boss fight, it's all valid. You know, we're, we're always listening. Um, Many people love the fight. Some people didn't. Totally get it. Um, could some of the encounters be, you know, refined or have uh, uh, more stuff added to it? Absolutely. You know, like, uh, I think that's super valid. Do I think that uh, some of the tag one... We'll, we'll take the tag one stuff and put it on the side for now. But, okay. but uh, as far as tag two goes... So the whole purpose... There's, I'd like to dispel some myths really quick. Let's do it, did, yeah. Did we do this to appeal to casual. If anybody in their right mind thinks that anything about tag two is casual is crazy. You guys have really just lost sight of what casual means. Like there is so much stuff going on and it absolutely requires an understanding of the doom dance. You got to know how to burn. You got to be chainsawing. You got to be ice bombing. You got to be doing all these things. 
uh, in order to progress. And I saw many reviews from reviewers who don't know the dance and got smashed and gave us, you know, some, some outlets gave us a low score. Not many. We actually have really good scores this time. Uh, gave us a few because they said it was too hard. So, like, it does require the, the knowledge, you know. It, it's meant to be a celebration of a year's worth of, of uh, acquiring knowledge, a celebration of the Doom Dance. Um, did I, I didn't want it to be as hard as Tag 1. Like, I thought Tag 1 was about testing the player. Tag 2 is about rewarding the player. That's what Tag 2 was all about. Uh, a glorious send-off. Think of it like a third act that is a celebration, a focus on fun over challenge, but definitely challenge, a uh, fun through challenge. I mean, there is challenges and, and a challenge to tag two, uh, but m- not quite at the same f- uh, frequency as tag one. Uh, like tag you have, one you have some more agency, did, right? Like the, the escalation yeah. encounters having the second optional one, things like that, yeah, as opposed to a- tag absolutely. one just being like, that's, that, that's just mainline, that's golden path, you have to go through that stuff. Tag one didn't introduce any new mechanics. It was all about new AI. So mm-hmm. what it meant, what then as a result, because there are no new mechanics, it says, uh, "Tell me, okay, you're not going to get any new equipment. So let's le- let's see how well you know uh, your toolkit and and uh, how good you are at the Doom Dance. Let's test you." Uh, since tag two introduced a new mechanic, it was more about rewarding the player for using that mechanic. And, and as you master the mechanic in subsequent playthroughs, yes, you start to feel super, uh, super powered. But that is also how you make the player fall in love with mechanics. In, in, in master levels that follow this release, we will absolutely be creating encounters. Excuse me, that will, that will test uh, your skill uh, with, with the hammer. Could some rebalancing take place with the hammer? Maybe. I mean, again, guys, people are saying that they're having fun. And that's really like, do we want to take that away from them? I, I mean, I, I'm not sure. Uh, when it comes to the... So, so uh, I, I thought, I told you guys this leading up to release, that, that Tag 2 needed to focus on pacing because Tag 1... No one's going to convince me otherwise. I'm going to, I'm going to pause here for two not seconds. Have I'm seeing enough good. people saying we're having like noise issue things again, like noise cancellation. Let's switch that one part back on on Discord because maybe the auto thing isn't isn't uh okay isn't cutting the mustard. Because I think normally a lot of people have that set to auto, like I know mine is, but I know that certain sensitivities or how far away the mic is from you and stuff, it can bug out. So let's switch it back right. to the way you had it before. Let me do a test. That's too cut out. I can't even hear you. You're so, it's cutting out the noise, including your, your sonorous that, voice. Yeah, that's better. I can hear you. Is that you better? Again. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, you know, I, I said this during the streams leading up to it. I think Tag 1, looking back, just had uh, bad pacing. I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, every single moment of, of DLC 1 is uh, on like an 8 and above. And what happens is players get exhausted, like uh, most players, you know, uh, most Doom fans. And so by the time they arrive to the peaks of difficulty, like the final arenas, there's two of them on each side of the blood swamps, they're just exhausted. And that's not a good thing for anybody. I mean, that kind of exhaustion should be saved for a master level mm-hmm. and, and not anything to do with like catering to critics or anybody, no critic, nobody who doesn't know the Doom dances get through either of these DLCs. But it just didn't have good pacing. And I said that leading up to this. So I was just surprised at people saying, like, oh, my God, he went back in. The truth is most of you didn't play through all of DLC 1 before you ran out and said that you thought we nerfed the whole thing into the ground. Because if you play through the whole thing, you will see that we only messed with softening the intro of UAC Atlantica and then shaving off a couple of peaks uh, throughout the experience. Like tentacles hidden in fog with possessed arachnitrons. <laughs> that's, that's a bit excessive. Like... The, the techniques that you guys were using to overcome that particular encounter was just broken. You, you guys were being forced, you know, from software games at their worst, you know, you, you, when you have to feel like you're steered into an exploit mm-hmm. uh, in order to overcome something. So we'll be some of the I will say this, though, like what I what I what I learned was that, you know what, for better, or for worse, it's it's the experience that you fell in love with. And I totally respect that. So I will be uh, reverting most of the changes to tag one you know, good news. Uh, I think that the idea was to soften the intro to UAC Atlantica for somebody who hasn't played, you know, loves the Doom Dance, 
shows up, wants to play, doesn't hit a wall of difficulty, hit notices right away it's harder, but gets eased into the difficulty. That's mm. why most 70% of the nerfs were concentrated to the opening of UAC Atlantica to make that transition into DLC difficulty just a bit more of a ramp because prior to that it was just a wall. Like a cliff. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> but I will say that I didn't think that the open the reason why I had no problem putting that stuff back, just to return it to the version that fans loved, mm -hmm. was uh, I didn't think that that's where players were were having to do exploits to overcome challenge. I didn't think the opening to DLC 1 was too hard. Uh, I think it's very achievable. I just thought from a pacing perspective, there was no easing into anything. Um, but we can return it. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, you know, uh, it reminds me a lot of like some of the Star Wars special edition uh, changes that that were made uh, by Lucasfilm because it's kind of like, listen, I realize that some of the prosthetic, you know, VFX in the originals was really janky looking and didn't age well. And yes, some of your CG stuff looks better, mm -hmm. but I want you to leave it the way I fell in love with it. So that's how I feel about DLC one. So you want to see the rubber guy in the suit that you know and love? Yeah. So yeah. so we'll be returning the UAC Atlantic difficulty uh, stuff, but I so many black belts in the community have told me that hiding tentacles in fog does not add to the experience. I get it. It continues to make it hard. So I'm going to look to try to continue to shave off some of those spikes that, guys, the reviews on Steam Store show that, like, they're not working. You know, like, they're not, they're not reaching enough of the Doom fan player base because it's just fog on top of, you know, even G-Man Lives put it in his review that he said it was too far. It was a step too far. And so... I'm going to return a lot of the tag one stuff to what it was, but then look to surgically keep some of those moments that I thought were too hard, which I can pretty much list off the top of my head. Uh, tentacles hidden in fog. Absolutely. Um, it was the Holt bridge fight. The Holt bridge fight frustrated me because, uh, I mean, it didn't frustrate me. I enjoyed it, but the, the, uh, I put it in there because I wanted it to be a final test. The problem is a final test before you are about to experience one of the hardest boss fights we've ever made in Samur, again, people head into Samur exhausted. They just head in burnt out. And what I really didn't like about the Holt fight is that I think an encounter at its worst mm -hmm. demands a spawn memorization. I think that sucks. And I think the Where Holt you have fight, to basically die and then memorize every single yeah, like, spawn Yeah, and, and I think that the bridge fight demands spawn memorization from 90% of the player base. Mm -hmm. You know, like, yes, I get it. Like, the Dracos of the world, there's nothing that requires spawn memorization. But um, when I watched players play, I saw that they were memorizing things in order to overcome the challenge. And that's not Doom, you know? Uh, that for an Ultra Nightmare run, I don't, I don't mind that. But that for, like, a base run, it bothered me. So I do think we'll keep some of that stuff in there. I might return the hidden tentacles just to kind of check the player, but the fact that we spread out some spawns and didn't overlap them as much on the bridge, mm -hmm. I just think that that allows players to go in, have one last challenge, but it's not like, I mean, I think the bridge fight for a lot of players is one of the hardest fights. And as a result, again, the, the player base has spoken on Steam reviews. These encounters were being called out. They were yeah. being called out as frustrating. And it's Steam. That means these are the people on PC who bought the DLC and they're saying, I love this. These encounters suck. So, like, and largely am like I listen and mouse players, I'm not, right? yeah, yeah, it's it's not a listening to critics. It's listening to you. You have spoken with your <laughs> thumbs down of DLC one. You said this is too hard. I don't like it, and you gave it a thumbs down. We had yeah. a very low review score. I'm for seeing a people there. in chat right now too saying that yeah, that bridge fight was frustrating. No more tentacles. Totally. It was well, hard. And, yeah, totally. No, dude, dude, hell yeah, it was like uh, no one's gonna complain with removing hidden tentacles, dude. Like right, that's right, right. not, you know, like it's not something that you would spots. miss, right? Yeah. No. And like you and said, then, a lot of the ways that people were getting around those is terrible. Doing, we're doing it's, things like using Geo to jump off of or just me awful. hooking around. And it's like, well, at that point, it's. it's Why is it even there? Right. Exactly. Like, yeah. so, uh, and the worst part is when someone's climbing a mountain of difficulty, which mm -hmm. is what, you know, the DLCs are. Sure. And they die on the way up enough times, they just give up. Right. They don't, they don't, they don't make it all the way. And that's not a good thing. You yeah. know, like. Uh, some of the, the so then the, the possessed baron fight is a big one. If anybody thinks that the introduction of the spirit through the use of a possessed baron is yeah. balance, you're, you're crazy. That's not how you introduce that AI. So what did the DLC review say on Steam for the possessed baron? They said the spirit sucks and he's too hard because anybody who took the right side path and the first spirit they saw 
was a possessed baron. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a good intro to that AI. That yeah, means yeah. you're going to die like 10, 15 times. And you're going to be like, you know, hey, what do you think of the spirit? I think he sucks. You know, and, and that's that's kind of what happened. He got a bad rap from a certain amount of player base. Again, Doom fans, people who know the dance. Yeah. Uh, because their intro to him was a possessed baron. So that's a change that I want to keep because I don't think it's fair that anybody who picks that side has to face a possessed baron to, to begin with. Like, guys, just sit in my shoes for a second, you know, walk in my shoes for a second. It's just like, is that really how you intro a, an AI as demanding as a spirit? You know, right. it, it is. So so we'll keep some of those peaks of frustration in DLC one. We'll return Atlantica because I don't think the intro to Atlantica is too hard, you know, and, and I'll do that because I, I hear you fans. I, I, I too fall in love with things and I don't want them changed. And I think it's fair. I, I, we were wrong. I was wrong. You want to blame somebody, blame it on me. You know, um, the, the, um, what else? Uh, the doom fan base. The the di the the discourse that's the right word right yeah uh, on on the Doom, Doom fan base so uh, we've got the DLCs are made for Doom fans yeah. fans of the Doom combat that's who buy DLC that fan base ranges from people who play the game and love it mm -hmm. but don't play it all the time have right. never played a mod and are playing on a base controller you know base PS4 Xbox controller no paddles total doom fed along for the ride <laughs> uh they might play it on hurt me plenty you know like ultra violence yeah and uh so we have to make the game for them and we have to make the game base game base game content like a DLC all the way to Dracu mm -hmm. and that's a pretty wide gap and i would say the doom is one of the most uncompromising skill based fps experiences out there so you know we're doing things with spirits, screechers, certain AI types, certain encounters that are like. No. And you're comfortable teaching through death, right? Like we talked about. Yeah, yeah. I said this all the time. Frustration is a part of engagement. We teach you things through death. Yeah. That's a that's a bold statement, and we got to stick to our guns, and we do. Mm -hmm. But what I don't like is when this end of the player base is furious because we made a piece of content that allows this player base, this part of the player base, to actually make it through the experience, mm -hmm. like. Uh, I can understand your frustration. You know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not saying you're at fault. I totally get it. Um, base content has to be for all Doom fans. That's what I would say. And I would, I would, I got a lot of notes from, you know, Doom fans further on this side. You know, dads black, black belts. Work. Oh, the other side, well, the other well, side. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, 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 what I would consider the dad at the jujitsu gym. You mm -hmm. know, it, that's me at the jujitsu gym. I use this analogy with with some of the fans. I was like. You know, if I go to a jiu-jitsu gym and it's 25 MMA guys only and yeah. they don't have room for me, I'm not training there. I don't like it. You know, right. like I want to go to a place that has the full range. You know, I get to I get to roll with the 25-year-old psychopath. <laughs> I get to roll with the dad who's my age and yeah. also has hip problems. Right. And, and, um, and that's what Doom is. Doom is for everyone. Like we don't want to push the content, base content all the way just for the top end of the player base, because I don't think that that's very inclusive. I, I don't think that's fair. Yeah. You know? So it's important that DLC one and DLC two is designed in a way to allow all players into the experience. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have the technology technology makes sense. So we don't have the, the game is not set up to be able to, <laughs> I like any sentence like, that starts with, we don't have the technology, by yeah, the way, yeah. try this for me real quick. Just take the mic and move it a little bit away. I don't know if that's what's maybe tripping in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Hello? Yep, sounds good. Yeah, we, we don't have the game set up to be able to allow for uh, a lot of variation from Hurt Me Plenty to uh, to uh, Nightmare. Like, I would love to be able to say this stays like this for Nightmare and that's like that on Hurt Me Plenty. The game's just not set up that way. Like, of course, it's something I'd like to do. It's not something we could do. So, unfortunately, we have to use a bit of a one-size-fits-all, you know, uh, for the entirety of our Doom fan base. Uh, I ask, so, so that's just the dilemma. I think what it says is that more than ever, we need master levels. So we have prioritized the creation of master levels big time in the next patch. Nice. Uh, right now, uh, what we have ready, we have several ma uh, main campaign master levels that won't involve the hammer uh, ready to go. We have two that we're trying to put in there. Maybe it'll end up being one. Guys, it's all about timing, QA, testing. 
we don't want to ship you guys buggy stuff. We know the master levels tend to be bug prone. It's challenging. You guys understand it's a layer on top of the base game. And then if that layer touches the base game layer in any way, and then it messes up the base game, but the blah, 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 yeah. it's very, very challenging. And the QA guys are working their butts off, yeah. working their butts off Huge shout to out try to, sure. to, yeah, total shout out to QA to make sure that that content is not buggy, but it's still, it still gets like that sometimes. So we yeah. appreciate your patience. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so I think we'll, we'll ship next patch with one. I'm really pushing for two. DLC two master levels will be in the following patch, potentially coming out a little sooner. We'll see, but we are prioritizing that stuff to be able to give you an experience worthy of hammer mastery, because Ooh. I know many of you have mastered at that time. An encounter that's capable of challenging a player who knows how to use the hammer. Maybe it's not possible. I think it is. And it basically, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really easy. It just means a lot of dudes. That's all it's going to mean. <laughs> it's going to mean... So Tag 2 was like that for a long part of the development. And mm. I took it out. I took it out. Not from pressure. So if it was the wrong decision, it's my wrong decision. Blame me. Uh, because it was too hard. Like the problem was... The, the way that it felt is it was like, if you don't have this master by the time you get this level, you're dead. You know? And we, we play tested it with Doom fans. And what we saw was they were like, dude, I'm getting smashed. And I was like, well, you're not using the hammer. And they're like, dude, you just gave me this 30 minutes ago. You know, like, <laughs> like uh, I literally have this for 30 minutes and now you're giving me like, you know. How can I be an expert already, right? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. I, I'm taking my SATs and hammer in, in hammer combat the 30 minutes after I've acquired like, That's like a new key for keyboard players too. You're like, uh. No, like, it is. Unless so you're like, doing your crucible. But even with that, it's not something that you mix in the same way, right? And there's a lot of players who we watched, and this is exactly what we saw internally when we mm -hmm. tested it, is that they actually don't even use the hammer too much until the Dark Lord boss fight. They're like, oh, right. yeah, I have this. Yeah. And then just think, but they're good enough that they could get through it without the hammer. Just think of the player, again, who's on a base controller, who's not good enough to quick switch their way out of any problem. You know, so what we saw on testing is they were getting smashed, smashed. And, and, um, I found that it was better to like gradually test them. You know, there is a test in there that we are incentivizing the use of the hammer, but subsequent playthroughs, you start to really get into the groove of the hammer. And then yes, you start to dominate the experience and nothing can touch you. But it was really about making that first run through of DLC two enjoyable, mm -hmm. you know, like to, to be able to bathe in the power of the tools, you know, and enjoy yourself. Uh, some of the encounters like a platform full of stone imps was just meant to celebrate the mechanics. That's it. Like, I, I thought the pacing of DLC one was objectively not good because every single encounter is a combat puzzle. Everyone. Right. It shouldn't be like that. It should be combat puzzle. And then what I would consider to be like a, a kind of a, a spike in the power fantasy style encounter where like here's six blood punch pickups and five pinkies just wreck them. You know, like, oh, <laughs> right, here's right, right. here's a bazillion shotgun shells and 25 stone imps go crazy. You know, like, so I think it's like combat puzzle, power fantasy encounter, you know, maybe traversal puzzle and then arena fight. That's mm -hmm. how it should be. And how tag one is, is combat puzzle, combat puzzle, little combat puzzle, mega combat puzzle, arena fight, you know, like, and I just think, yes, there has a certain charm to that. But I think that's why Tag 1 objectively, it's in the Steam reviews. You've all said it. I've heard your feedback. For a large portion of the player base, DLC 1 can feel exhausting. Then that's not how I want people to associate uh, with Doom content. Now, when it comes to master levels, again, I, that's, that's <laughs> where I think we could, we could challenge you. But despite all that, yeah. you can't change stuff after it's already come out. Sure. That was a mistake. I mean, you can, and we did, but... But, Maybe. but I get it. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. We'll we'll yeah, yeah. we'll put it back. I, I'm right. the same way, guys. I'm the same exact way. I really relate to how you feel. Um, are we going to make DLC two harder? I don't want to. Like again, we can, but after everything I just said, from this, you know, from the dad in the jujitsu gym to the 25 year old who's more than likely on steroids, <laughs> I really. <laughs> I really, really, really need to make sure that this content is for all of them. And yes, yeah. I could slide it this way. I, in, in, in three days, we could make this thing just like Tag One. Is that good? Sure. You know, like I'm speaking to all of the Doom fan base out there, people on a base controller, people who want to play it on anything they want, people who don't play mods, people who don't do Ultra Nightmare runs. Like, is that good for them? You know, 
Uh, and like you're saying, I the, really, the, the beauty of it I is, really, is like, go ahead. I, I think that we need the top tier of that player base. Mm -hmm. Please understand that you are the black belts. You are the 25-year-old peak condition in your prime. Super juicer? Uh, su super juicers <laughs> of the Doom community. You're the leaders from, a, from an – I think Mayo is one of the leaders – from a from a communication standpoint, absolutely, and and guys like Midnight lead in their own way as well, but uh, and Alston and and you know and Cynic and stuff, but like uh, in terms of pure skill and just streaming and playing the game, mm -hmm. you guys playing the mods which I love and you guys doing all that crazy stuff, you know you're the leaders of the community. I'm asking you to be kind to everybody in the gym. That's right. it. Because when I walk into a jiu-jitsu gym and the black belts are douchebags, I don't. I don't want to fucking well, yeah, be there. It's like we're doing Karate Kid all over again, right? It's like, no, you can, I, and it's I like, like it. You can yeah, be a black belt and not be in Cobra Kai. And I'm not talking about the new Cobra Kai. I'm talking about the old Cobra Kai. <laughs> yeah, don't don't be Johnny and his psycho four friends, you right, know, right, like right. from the original Cobra Kai. Because yeah. it it got like that for a half a second. Yeah, it was yeah. like, and, and I was seeing it in the messages of people sending me messages being like, dude, I liked it. Like, mm -hmm. and, and, um, you know, uh, Gerard Smith is or Jared Smith, someone who I talk to on Facebook often. Uh, yeah. He's really a. There are certain people that I zero in on who I I see as like Tyler McVicker is a good example of like m from the spectrum of a Doom fan, but maybe doesn't play every day to like again like a mod Ultra Nightmare level guy. Yeah. You know, Tyler's in the uh, Tyler's above average. He's amazing at the game, but he's yeah. but he's normal. Like when he's I watch Tyler being. play, he's not like he a, looks like a yeah. Right. He looks like a human being. Yeah. You know. I don't know what Hemp and Hey Kyle, Hey Kyle's not of this earth anymore. Like I don't know what he is. Like I mean, he doesn't even have I watched a him, He lives I in a different him, universe. <laughs> I watched him play, and and he really liked it, by the way. But I was just yeah. like, Jesus, Hey Kyle, like you are. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Like you're just give give him a chance for Christ's sakes. Right. It's like stop what? switching. Let him yeah. breathe. He just spawned. Yeah. No, but fair. but he liked it. You know, yeah, I yeah. I really appreciate Hey Kyle. I mean, he 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 liked it a lot. And um, but so like. Uh, yeah, you were saying yeah, getting back like, to your Facebook, bud. Like, just he, yeah, uh, you know, he he felt that DLC one uh, was was awesome, but like you know, pacing wise, a little exhausting, a little mm -hmm. tedious, mm -hmm. and it does get tedious when you're getting whacked by a hidden tentacle, and no, you're not on a mouse and keyboard, and you can't flip around, you know, and like take it out in a second. And there's just so many of those one after the other. I just think it was tedious at times, and that's what I try to do. But we'll return it. We'll return it back to what it was. But so I wanted again. Tag two is the test. Tag uh, tag one is a test. Tag two is a reward. Yeah. And uh, but listen, art is subjective, and none of what I said is fact. <laughs> That's just my subjective opinion. <laughs> okay. And I could be dead wrong. Don't don't think I that mean... you're wrong for thinking what you're thinking. You're wrong if you try to aggressively convince other people that you're right. That's like true. and that they're wrong. That's yeah. wrong. Like yeah, you know. It's yeah. good. Point. Uh, that's just I'm, a life lesson I'm, right there. Boom, dropped it. That, that's it. That's yeah. it. You know, like, I I think uh, that is it. So, be good to each other, and <laughs> and I need the the top tier of our of our player base to lead by example, and make room for yeah. the dads right in the gym because we yeah. all started as human beings, whether we liked it or no, not. You know what I mean? So so th the reason why I play like this is number one, I like playing Doom on a controller. But number two, even the little bit of advantage, actually, I will say for for controller players, mm -hmm. anybody who puts paddles on, it's a huge difference. It's like night and day. I could, with paddles, and if I have two of them, I never have to take my fingers off. The, the, so I could yeah. do what a mouse and keyboard guy does of jump, aim, and shoot at the same time. It's a monumental leap forward in an advantage. Right. I insist on playing like this because I want to demonstrate for the dads in the gym that it can be done. That's why I do this. That's why I don't use BFGs. You know, aside from just being awesome and ne and Gen X, yeah. I also <laughs> just want to show you that it can be done. You know, it's it's. I want it to be for everyone. It it's important for me. Um, having, I'll just wrap it up with saying that, like, I will tell you guys that to the black belts, that's why we made the game. What, seeing what you guys are doing, mm -hmm. it brings a tear to my eye because that's what we wanted the game to be. You know, like we. I, I wanted the game to have a high skill ceiling and it, it's, it's building something and yeah, it's, it's, it's making the guitar and watching what Eddie Van Halen does with it. You know, that's what you're doing. You guys are the, are the Jimi Hendrix and the Jimmy page. And I really need a reference. That's not from fucking 30 years ago, but like, 
<laughs> some young person today who's good. Does anybody even play the guitar today? I don't even uh, know. No it's one questionable. Does. It's questionable. All right, honestly. Josh, you would know better than me. But like, you, you're the true. you're the grandmasters. <laughs> of the experience and that's all we ever wanted so i applaud you guys and and it's uh it's what we hoped the game would be and thank you thank you all and 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 so drama aside yeah i thought it was so amazing what i saw happen over the course of the last couple of days you know with mayo re-releasing his review and being more constructive and Mm -hmm. and like alston making a video and and even him i don't even know how to say him's name I think he you know, said it. Yeah. <laughs> even even he made a statement about being kind to each other because we did yeah, like yeah. all of a sudden black belts from everywhere rushed to the Steam store and review bombed us. Mm-hmm. You know, like and it's like, really? That it's almost like you you bust into the gym and you're like, they're letting dads in here. <laughs> you know, let's burn it down. Like, come on, guys, we got to yeah. make room for everybody. So so to see to see the community come together after that, I thought that's why the doom community is special. That's why Josh and I love coming on here every week to do this. Um, It's so hokey, but we're like family. Come on. We talk all the time, you know, like our troubles are your troubles and you guys help us figure shit out with the, you know, when you're, when you guys are constructive, like you were, we just went through a really dark period with the blood punch and the no, no, no No target target chainsaw chainsaw stuff, which is fixed, which is fixed. Uh, Thanks to you guys fixed. again, by the way, right? That got fixed because of you guys. Yeah. Because you guys were constructive in the feedback that you gave us. Yep. And we can hear you when you're constructive. Right. When you're like yelling at us, it's like a megaphone in our face. And it's just like, ah, emotion. Plus, it's, it's, just, know, it's just like anything else. It's like, <laughs> it's like if, you, if you see a crime, report the crime. Don't go to the officer and be like, something bad happened. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Totally. That's awesome. What do I supposed to? I need to fix that. How do I fix that? Show me the video. Tell me the, where the person lives. Give me the info because we're cool detectives trying to do detective work. So send yeah. me on Discord bugs when you have them. And again, just like anything else, it's like we just need to come at this with as much information as possible because that information gives us the tools to then go put fixes in to try things. And then with the amazing team, again, of like, uh, we'll just say like the, the Gibson or the Fender, uh, m- you know, machine line that we have, we were able to like yes. tweak these things so that when we hand these to you as lead guitarists, as Ferrari drivers, then everything is just exactly where you want it to be. But it takes Absolutely. you guys helping us to do that, which thank you. Cause that's how we got here. And, 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 um, you know, from the discord channels, we were able to put through the feedback, we were able to put some of you under NDA yep. working with Josh. You know, I think that uh, we were able to really, really diagnose. Guys, it's hairy. I have no idea how the programmers do it, but I know that when they have to go in and fix this stuff, it's very, very difficult. There's a high risk that you'll break something else. Yeah. It looks like we were able to fix it with minimal problems, and which is a good thing. So thank so you very much. So good, That's yeah. because that was a fantastic example of like Mayo released a video about how Doom was broken, mm-hmm. but it was super constructive. It was like oh, yeah, a really, one? really yeah, good, good. And I thought that the video set the tone for the community Mm -hmm. about less like outrage and more like, Hey, this is frustrating and it's broken. We care. We're raising our hand. Let us help you fix it. And we heard you. I took that video. I sent it to to Marty and the team and I said, you know, let's, let's engage them. And, um, and it really worked. So, uh, I feel like I really liked that. I feel like that's what we settled into here, you know, with the feedback coming out of tag two. And, yeah, and we hear you. And that's why we're going to be retur- re- reverting some of those things. But you make such a good point in general. It's like, it's just one of those things that I feel like is always nice to have a check in and a reminder of like, okay, it's 2021 and everybody's online and we all have these like both anonymous, you know, uh, voices in different social places and Steam and everywhere else. And then, you know, we have, you know, people trying to make a name for themselves making content. And again, it's like everybody has a choice of how to frame everything that they put out there. So it's one of those things where it's like, we understand sometimes that the easiest thing to do is just like, we, we've talked about this a million times. The easiest thing to do is to tear something down. It takes no time, yeah, yeah. no effort. You just go, that's bad. Kick the leg out, let the damn thing fall, laugh in its face. We all get that. But it's like building something up or seeing something that's wrong and then being able to try to take the time and the care to not only articulate it, but to put it in such a way where it shows that you are on the side of wanting this thing better for not only yourself, but for everybody else that plays it. It's like, it takes a lot of effort and I'm not underplaying it. N- none of us are, but it's like, that is the kind of stuff that gets us to the point where we're like, 
just flawless in everything. I mean, yeah. that's how we got this far already. So it's just like more of that, please. And again, it's like when you see it with other people, it's like it's just like being again, we are such a tight community that there is like no excuse for us not reaching out to each other and being like, bruh, I understand you're feeling yeah, yeah. heated. Let's talk about it. Let's get through it. And then let's get to a point where we're now helping and then making everything better. Like we can all do this because I've seen all y'all do it and y'all are good at it. So let's just keep it going for sure. We, we uh, on the Arachnotron nerf, uh, what that was was basically a really, really old character who a lot mm. of the later characters that we introduce with weak points, we have uh, dialed them in going back to the base game, the arm all the way up to the Armored Baron to function in a certain way to allow the players, again, the wide margin of the player base to be able to take out the weak point. Yeah. Uh, I will look to try to, so that's why we did that. That's it. It's just a really, really old character that's not really up to date with the stuff that we were doing by the time we made like the Maker Drone, for example. So we will uh, revert, well, I'll look to revert to his behavior to what it was for Nightmare only. And then I think probably his projectile speed needs to be returned to what it was. I still do like that there's a break in when he shoots mm -hmm. and that the his, the, the, there's some spread to the way he shoots. So the lesson is being taught to take out the turret, but it's not quite such a severe lesson, which again is not ve a very good intro into the mechanic of weak points. He's sure. the first character that teaches you weak points, but like he does it in kind of a, a way that's not really consistent with where we finish the game because he's the one of the first AI that we made. Uh, if I if I'll work with the community and if we feel like if two things, if I can't get it to be the same on Nightmare. We may just revert the whole thing. Sure. If I could return some of the projectile speed and you guys feel like it feels good, we'll work with you guys on that. Uh, the Marauder being burned down faster through Super Shock and Ballista, that's a bug if that's happening. Uh, being able to take him out with one swipe of the hammer, uh, just really quick. Uh, I, that's not easy. Like it, it is easy, but think about this. We're saying to land the parry on the perfect time, mm -hmm. switch to the hammer and use it, right. you know, press the button, then quick swap him, right. and then he's dead. That's yeah. very far from shotgun go boom, boom, and he's dead, like from 2016. I mean, like, we have not nerfed him. Like, well, we're still asking you to do a lot of stuff. But, again, DLC 2, I thought it would be fun to reward the player for using the tools. Do I think it's OP? Yes. Do I hope it's fun? Yes. I mean, um, can I say could, something on could, that, too? Because I have an idea. We can bring that back, too. We can, we can walk that back, but go ahead. Well, I, I love the point that you make of, like, it isn't a small or easy task to do all these things in perfect succession to just, like, burn him down. But it's also one of those things that, okay, if you can do it and you can do it well, congratulations. It's your choice whether you use the absolute optimal meta or you want to play it differently. Like I see so yeah. many people like shout outs to Swan Song and a bunch of other guys out there who constantly push themselves in these black belt runs to do like no BFG, no ice bomb, no hammer. It's like just because you have super, I mean, it's the same exact thing as the original, you know, 1990, 93, 95, Doom and Doom 2. You don't have to use the BFG to clear a room. No. But it's fun. So if you want to use it, use it. And if you don't want to do like, well, why can you burn down a Marauder so fast? Well, you, you don't have to do the optimal thing and do like literally seven or eight or nine inputs in a perfect succession. If you do it, though, and you want to do it, keep doing it. If not, you don't have to. But it's like I always feel like it's one of those interesting things when it's like this is the very end of the game. This is the celebration. This is the last chapter in the saga. Like, like you, you know, you just pointed out so well. It's like we gave you another tool to use. And it does make you feel strong. And it does basically give you an advantage over, especially like windows like the Marauder, the Armored Baron. And again, and it rewards you. And it rewards you if you do it. But it again, feels rewarding. So go out with a it. bang. That's it. The, yeah. the third act of an action movie should be bombastic and fun. The second act is the struggle. Yeah. You know, act one is the base game. Act two is the dark point, you know, the, the real struggle, the meat of the experience. And that's tag one. And then tag two is the third act, and that's the celebration, you know. But um, we'll look into that stuff. We're, we're listening to all your feedback. So the takeaway is nobody's wrong. Be kind to each other. We're going to revert. Actually, I'm wrong. I shouldn't have revert. I shouldn't have done the stuff to Atlantica. That's fair. Don't change Job of the Hut to a CG Job of the Hut. <laughs> I've, I've learned the lesson. Okay. No, I get it. And and um, After you say that, I have then, to disagree with everything that you're going to say after that because I'm like, yes, the and, old Java stays. And then, and then, uh, but some of the spikes in tag one, guys, I just think it's not good. It, people are dying on, on that encounter too much, and then they're exploiting it. I think it sucks. Uh, and and um, probably won't. I mean, we could we could revisit. I might I might look to revisit a couple of encounters in tag two, but not not with the hope to turn it into 
to, to a master level. Like, mm. I think we could do some things to maybe add a little bit more uh, puzzles to the combat encounters. Totally agree. Uh, but like, especially with, with parts one and two, by the way, D Amora was meant to feel fast. Like yeah. that was one thing about Amora is that we had more combat puzzles in Amora, but it, it was like slowing me down mm. and we wanted Amora to have this kind of like push forward momentum, not unlike our complex where you're just kind of like, you know, just moving through the space Yeah. Uh, because you just saw a giant pa uh, Imagine in Amora, if we had some of those blood swamp puzzles. So you're like, Oh my God, I saw this battle. And there's the Dark Lord, and we're gonna fight. And oh, fog! Yeah, I, I can't. And I'm in here. I'm I'm in the fog for 30 minutes. Right. God. Yeah, Devoth is over there. We got to get to him. But Jesus Christ, I can't, I can't get out of here. I can't even see him. Yeah. We had That's that fair. stuff, guys. We had we had one of those rooms. Uh, this was a good one. We had one room where one of the combat puzzles was uh, four Curse Prowlers, and and two Mancubuses stationed up high with a hidden hidden. Uh, 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 Specter Whiplash, and then like <laughs> six uh, Blood Punch pickups. That was your combat Jesus puzzle God. for Amora. Yeah, man, that did not test well, brothers. Like yeah. that, <laughs> people were furious. People were like, like, "Well, no." Well, because they were like, they were like, I, like they're like, I want to floor it. Like mm. I want to keep going. Like you're bogging me down with this puzzle. Yeah. And I'm the one, dude. I sound like you guys. Like I was like, no, it's a, it's, it's got to be smart and the puzzle. <laughs> And they're like, stop, you just get out of my way. You know, like, I want to kill shit, have fun, get to the Dark Lord. It's like, OK, you know, I hear you. But uh, but just wait for the master level. So, yeah, like I said, in production, prioritized uh, uh, base game, master levels coming first, DLC 2 coming next. And uh, and you asked for it. I don't want to hear anything about the next master level, because I, while I am humbly accepting responsibility and i hear you and mm -hmm. it's a love fest and we have to be kind to each other mm -hmm. we will not be kind to you while designing <laughs> these master levels that's where we're you will be punished kindness. everyone's going to suffer horrible deaths no i'm just nice, kidding nice. There, there's um uh i put a i put a, a post in facebook and um i really loved the responses honestly i was shocked i was i was shocked at how smart the the uh the suggestions were so many good ones, so many good ones. And that's what, when I look at tag two, I'm like, we could update tag two, but I don't want to turn it into like a master level. And I'm like, why don't I just save this for the master level? Right. Like, you know, sure. So, so, um, cause there's no way we're going to be able to do anything to DLC two to bring it to the level that will satisfy the black belts. And I want to satisfy them. I want them. We make doom for everyone and they're, we're able to reach that audience yeah. specifically and that audience is critical, you know, like critical, critical. Um, we're able to reach that audience with master levels. So uh, there's so many cool things that people say. I said this on Facebook, but like a possessed cursed prowler, like, holy cow. <laughs> like that, that's amazing. Like that's good. that would be so good. Got to you know, hunt like, down that blood punch to get the spirit out. Got to deal with the spirit. That's nice. Yeah. But could you imagine that in DLC too? Seriously. Like that's, that'd be just, a lot. Hey, I love Doom, and I want to finish it. Oh, God. Hey, what I is, can't kill what the cursed What is this new bro. enemy? Oh, he's cursed. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I guess we're doing that now. <laughs> yeah, good. yeah. And, and he just cursed me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that sounds cursed. <laughs> it'd, be, um, it'd be good. So, okay. so that's, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. That, I am so impressed with how you guys have come together, though. Again, like all the drama aside, yeah. The, the what what Mayo did, I, I feel like deserves to be commended. He truly is a leader, uh, a, a, the, the leader of leaders uh, in the Doom community. He supports what we do. He understands what we're trying to do. And it brings me great joy to have someone be able to vocalize from a fan's perspective exactly what it is we were trying to do when we set out to make this game. Everything in Mayo's videos is is uh, is pretty spot on, you know, like and, and even some of the criticisms, I you know, again. It's subjective, and he, he clarifies that. But like some of the things, I agree with you know, and and um, but overall, like we love making this type of game, and uh, and it's it's fantastic to see that that kind of game found an audience, and that that audience is such a good came together to create what me and Josh, everybody, Marty, an amazing community. Get you guys are amazing, and all y'all, I'll just say this: have to come to QuakeCon. You come to QuakeCon, we'll all hang out together. Beers on me. Depends on how many of you. <laughs> I was there gonna are. say, I was like, like you heard it here. Yes. 
I'm not Somebody spending no two thousand dollars on beers, but <laughs> we will all do a toast of water with with water. The the uh, water toast <laughs> to, to nice. the community. Yeah, please please come out. It, QuakeCon is awesome. And again, it, in saying that, we're not even sure if this QuakeCon is going to be physical or virtual. Obviously, no. it's a crazy world, and we are going to get there, and the announcements will be made on that when we're ready. But yes, regardless. We want you guys there. If it's virtual, we'll do the we'll do the cheers this year if we have to virtually, and we'll do the physical one next year, or vice versa, whatever. We're gonna do it, and we're gonna be together. And well, yeah, like, like you said, it's it's a religious experience to be spe- all together in the same room for sure. Speaking of the community, Josh, mm-hmm. let's take a massive moment here to shout out and send as much love and traffic our their way as possible. Let's do it. The official uh, Discord of the of official Doom. Discord, yeah. So yeah, what, what, what's the title, Josh? Discord.gg slash Doom. I'm sure everyone that's already in chat is there, but if not, join now. This is the celebration of all things Doom. And I mean from 93 through all the iterations, all the mods, all the things that have happened between now and then. It's like more than 25 years of celebration. I lose count because there's so many. Um, obviously, the Discord hasn't been around for 25 years because Discord is only, yeah. so, is only so old or so new. But no, it's the place that you got to be at for basically all things Doom all the time. We have a Slayers Club channel in there. So as far as when we're doing new things, giving points, all those things, it is just, it's where we all come together and we stay together for yeah. forever, basically. So if you're not already a part of it, absolutely join. Huge shout outs to all the mods and all the fans and all the everybody that's there because that's just, uh, it's just a safe place where we need to go and just get all the Doom info, get all the geeking out, and just, you know, people are always streaming on there all the time. Variety of stuff, a lot of Doom stuff. And again, that's not just Eternal, that's 2016, the older stuff, uh, you know, everything in between. So definitely and a huge shout-out have We have the the, uh, the live tiles in the main game, and, you know, Spicy Demons is for battle mode. Right. And it's critical that a multiplayer have a community discord it's because spicy demons is essentially an lfg it's where you go to go to get coaches it's good to know when when a game has a a, a multiplayer component that there is a a community an active community and that's why spicy demons tends to stay up there because we have a limited amount of live tiles i want to get so does josh uh the the discord uh live tile for the discord at times we have to sell certain components and again that spicy one supports that live service multiplayer component but what i'd like to do because they absolutely deserve it is try to restructure the main menu to be able to give them a permanent uh live tile so people know where to go because as josh said it is the largest and and among the most important communities that we have so we really appreciate everything that they've done for the game and everybody should go there because it's awesome but again shout out to you guys who run that thing thank you so much and uh let's Let's definitely try to show them the love, guys. We'll, For sure. We'll be, uh, we'll be heading over there. And again, big promises to put it in the main menu. We'll see what we can do. But until then, we are going to get you guys another rotation because we care. We love you. And speaking of which, we have got so yeah, much no, game to uh, play through To right Josh's now. <laughs> point, there's no guarantee we could get on the menu. I sure, just sure, want sure. you to know I'm already talking to Dave Rose, our, our head UI guy, about figuring out a way to get – Get some tab on there that's permanent for you guys. But like Josh said, one thing we can guarantee is definitely you'll be in the rotation. Absolutely. Speaking of in the rotation, we are here to not only hang out with you guys, which we love, and talk about the newness of DLC 2 Ancient Gods Part 2, but we are playing the base game, believe it or not, and we have two levels and two bosses to get through, including the final boss, the Icon of Sin, who happens to be uh, guest appearing here right now. So... Without further ado, Hugo, are you ready to jump in and just get it done and basically go through yes. all of Erdak, go through all of Final Sin and just beat this game? Are we doing it tonight? Is that what we're doing? Yes, all and right. I, I am never going to bite my nails on camera again. That was, uh, I, look at hey, that you know thing. What? That thing is awesome. It's just one of those things that you don't notice you're doing until, it's like it's like when you you know leave somebody a voicemail and you hear it back and you're like, oh God, that can't be me. Delete it. <laughs> don't listen to it. I'll text you. Don't worry. So I, I, uh, this is the part of the show where the excuses begin. Oh, good. And, uh, (laughs) I, I have not played in about two weeks. Josh and I have been off the air prior to that. I was fire Yeah. because uh, I was, I was playing blood swamps on nightmare Mm -hmm. and, uh, I really had gotten into a groove and it was feeling pretty saucy, but I got to play a little bit before this stream 
Let's give a huge shout out as usual mm. to the people who made this shit because it's friggin' bonkers. Yeah, like take a look around and then like blink yeah. and realize that you're in a doom game and hey. we go ahead, please. Yeah. Oh go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, the artist that made this possible, like, there is skyboxes and then there is this. And I can't even tell the difference because of the 3D elements, like in the foreground, midground, background. It's bananas. Like you are in a different dimension. Go ahead. What so, you say? Uh big shout out to uh uh all the world builders who made this possible and Rich Eastwood who designed this map. Rich, I don't know if you're watching. Uh you did a stellar job, buddy. You did pretty good there, Rich. This looks insane. And, and one of my favorite things about this, mm -hmm. uh, sound designers, I love that little sound that the trees make oh, when you're close to them. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is heaven. This is heaven in the Doom universe. Welcome to heaven. And can we talk about just like color palette-wise, we talked about Doom 2016 all the time. It's gray, it's brown, it's red, and then it's more of that. And then <laughs> this color palette is so radically different. It's so cool. It's beautiful. It. Yeah. It's beautiful. And, and listen, I heard some people, you know, grumbling that, hey, Doom is getting fantasy and I want to go. Yeah, I can't even do a basic puzzle. Uh, <laughs> Doom is Doom is fantasy and we got to go back to the to the Mars and corridors. Like, are, are you kidding me? Like, you don't want to go to places like this? Right. Like, it's not going to happen. Sun? Listen. All feedback is subjective, and I'm sure. not saying I'm right, but in this case, I'm dead right. We're just, we're, we got to keep going to places like this. I just turned the game audio on, so now they can hear that too. I had to keep that muted because we were in-game the whole time. Sorry about it. Hope you all can hear it now. And it sounds like you can. Cool, cool, cool. I hope that my sound effect for the tree was good enough, but otherwise yes. Hugo could probably pop next to a tree one more time and we can hear that noise again. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, big shout out to Tyler McVicker, who we spoke to earlier this week. We're going to be talking to Lauren Sontag, who had an incredible run of Doom Eternal on his stream. Hell yeah. And um, he done good. He done did good. And I think uh, we got to reschedule, but you'll also be doing the guest appearance on Matt Heafy stream from Trivium, which is awesome. No, he's excited about that. I think we're maybe doing it next week. We'll have to just see how the schedules work out. But Mike, and like, can you turn around for a second? Like, when you're in that corridor, like everything that's happening here, like all the textures, the lighting. Like, I remember in 2016 when we 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 were doing like some of the corridor stuff, and it was green and it was beautiful and it was gorgeous. But this is like, this is a palette I never thought about in Doom, and it like it's, it feels so cool. It's meant cool. to be uh, like the inside of like a body, yeah. you know. And and um, so so uh. The, the the makers are like this uh as you know from tag two and stuff like that they're they're a uh a race of uh of ai that eventually uh you know they became organic uh but kind of designed by uh by the i don't want to go too much into their details they're like this yeah. it's basically aliens and and um uh the world that they create is synthetic so what you'll see details wise is there's a lot of little hints that everything is kind of like, uh, by the way, that's the sound, that all of this is kind of uh, uh, synthetic. Uh, and, and you'll see parts of the world building later on uh, that kind of tells that story. A uh, little side note from a mocap perspective, getting characters to walk downstairs is a giant pain in the ass. It's uh, good note. Look at our boy. That. Uh, I liked the idea Chad Mossholder, the sound designers, gave them this insect sound that I really, really, really loved. The because they, they, they are, they, they're kind of like uh, a race of like uh, insects spreading through the, the, through the universe. Um, we will not be able to control it. Got that he doesn't good. care. Uh, hey, that's the, 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 the heart of, uh, of uh, Commander Valen's son. And... Um, for anybody who pays attention, his heart is enormous because it looked <laughs> terrible when it was a really normal-sized heart. That's so, totally fair. I never thought about that. Listen, we 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 tell you guys the truth in here. We tell you we tell you all of the stories. Um, a big shout out to the cinematics team and Tony, the our art director, and everyone else involved. The uh, the world building effort here in the cinematics department. We don't even have a cinematics department in it. It's just scale. basically, yeah, it's awesome. And and Doom's got to get big like this, guys. This is where we're heading. 
We gotta have to. We gotta keep. Uh, the scale is good. Yeah. It is. I love it. I love our hero doing big things. But you were saying we don't even have like we don't even like out you know take all of our animation and have like a different department, right? It's just like no, it's just made by us. The like it's really uh, small. Uh, Maker drone is a ranged heavy demon, while most of it's oh I know how this works. So the uh, <laughs> so do you. All right, first arena. We're taking the ring rust. We're just shaking it off. No big deal. Easy peasy. There we go. Popping wigs. And by the way, for everybody that's just joining us or that maybe wasn't here uh, any of the other weeks, if you happen to be new, the deal is, is we are playing through all of the campaign. These are the last two levels, Erdak and Final Sin. And Hugo is playing these on PC with a controller that has an inverted analog stick because this guy is like a pilot that's flying upside down the whole time. I don't know how he does it, but you are watching it. So uh, that's the, what you bear witness to. And we're playing on Nightmare as far as the, uh, the difficulty. And again, we're on YouTube and on Twitch, and we see both of y'all's questions, and we have them in a queue right now. So if you have questions, please don't uh, hesitate to ask. And if we don't answer them right away, hopefully we will. And if we don't, uh, it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna try to get to everybody as much as we can. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for the, this is a good question. I'm gonna wait for it until we, we hear the voice line. Um, Let's see. I'll answer this question though. Where was that's this? A, that's a good one. Why What's does up? he say it so many times? That's I've actually dying... you read my mind. That was it. That no, was the question. I've, been, I've been dying to get to that to that answer. Um, do you want to do it now, or you want to wait until we hear it? I'll, I'll get I'll get to it. The, the answer is is just pure human error. Like there's no like, well, guys, you know the experience for <laughs> normal play. No, it's just I I messed up. <laughs> I love that's it because I feel like the effect of it is like. It almost seems no. like we're trying to make it this awesome meme, which it totally became in the best way, where it's just like, we get it the Absolutely. longer he's on there. It's it's a problem. He's getting stronger. Uh, that was a question it, it, from Robbie just, Dude 1800 It just reminds me of my mom, you know, when your mom repeats herself like a million times. You're like, Clean Jesus, your room. I know. It's time I for I know dinner. already. <laughs> it's like, the older you get when you have kids, you realize you're, you're more like your parents than you realize. But the... Uh, uh, yeah, there's uh, the it, it is just hilarious. Like when that came out, I was like, <laughs> "What are they talking about?" And then I I realized I'm like, "Oh my god," he he says it like three times. God, why didn't we see that? Because when you play the game, you play it. I play it constantly, but I play it in chunks. Like I'm right. playing like, you know, yeah, I have full playthroughs all the time. But by the time, by the time all the stuff came in. And it was, well, I'll just explain it now. So basically, okay. like, um, am I done? I think you have just some fodder left. I'm just hearing something. Oh, yep. That's a, yep. Anchor drone, there you go. All right. So what happened? What did, what uh, did happen? It's I don't know if, I don't know if you want to pause, guys... by the way. I'm just putting that up because, no, you're it's good. Two more yes, hours, three it's... more hours. It's fine. We're in. We're good. It's critical that you guys knew what the stakes were. Mm -hmm. And so I wrote a bunch of lines that were like specific, like, and we did this in 2016 where like we would, you know, reiterate the mission objective and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I had a bunch of backup lines and then through edits, it was like, he'll say it here. And it was like, no, 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 he'll say it here. And then like, well, uh, but maybe he'll say it here. And I just, I, we forgot to, I forgot to take them out. That's it. <laughs> like, you know, and, and it wasn't until a live, uh, I started seeing the memes and then I'm like, wait a minute, let me see. And then I played, and I'm like, oh my god, like you know, he's a broken he, record in there. He's he really... says it three DCs he's having some sort of you know malfunction episode. Yeah, yeah that he's malfunctioning. <laughs> uh, so here's the question, guys. Based on our conversation earlier about yeah. the game is the game, sure. flaws and all, do we take it out? Because I actually had a meeting today where somebody asked me they're like so you know you've talked about wanting to fix this ah. like do, do you want to and i there's a part of me that's like should we i'm seeing votes and i haven't seen a single one that says we need to change it i'm seeing things as strong as never it stays keep it no it's brilliant keep it it's perfect Hell yeah no I, hml yeah there's right not a single so person we, i think we're a nano i know but like you're you guys are basically saying i have to keep 
a mistake, like a mess up on my part. Like, you know, like know that I'll keep it. But every time I see it, I'm just like, you're a dumb person. Like, you know, like, you know, I like, think at this point, it's just canon, though. I think at this point, it, it really just, is. Like, yeah. I have to say, again, the community being amazing. No one was like mean to me about it. Everybody's just like, you know, I I've. All right. So chat for real. I will keep it. I I actually had a task today made to take it like one or two of them out. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you want me to? Cancel right, we're gonna do a, We got We got to do a vote on like Reddit or something. Like, okay. let's let's just make it a thing. Let's make that in the Doom Discord, in the official Doom Discord. If you guys are listening, if you can set up a poll, okay. In Patch Five, I could take out the fact that he repeats himself That's like right. forty times. Um, know that it makes me feel dumb, <laughs> and and I'm sure that's gonna make you want to keep it in, but. No, that's uh, you heard it here first. So if you haven't already, go to discord.gg slash doom. And I'm sure either, uh, you know, Sergen, Kevin, Graham, uh, Jimmy Bacon, somebody's got that poll already going because y'all don't miss a beat ever. So uh, we'll just have to check in and see if those, those future meetings to, to take it out of the game are going to be canceled or if they're going to be, you know, shortcut to being I can like do we can it. do it immediately. We can leave it in. You we'll could see, leave we'll in my embarrassment because that makes you guys feel good. That's that's <laughs> all that I care. If there is any question to how dedicated we are at id Software and pleasing the fans, you're basically saying leave this incredibly dumb thing in the game <laughs> because we think it's funny. That's right. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm just reading through some questions real quick. This is some long boys. All right, all right. Um, all right. This question is from. How do we? How do we say his name? What's the twenty-four? I'm gonna just. There's a lot of different interesting spellings in there, but I'm gonna say that. Okay, here. This is a lore question for Hugo. Okay. After the reveal from the ancient god gods part two, spoiler, we know that hell is an extension of the Dark Lord. So. Why does the Dark Lord end hell? Why are they trying to kill Doom Guy since the classic games, if he needed him to destroy Erdak, why entomb him and why does Doom Guy look like the Dark Lord? That's like five questions, but you can answer any one of those if you feel I like. answered this on McVicker's thing, so yeah. I don't want to spoil it. Um, That's fair. But uh, it'll take me, it, were you, you were, th yeah, I was there, that, right? answer, that answer took like 20 minutes. Uh, it, it's not a plot hole. I mean, like, yeah, just yeah. keep this in mind. The Dark Lord didn't make the Doom Slayer, the Doom Guy. He made the Doom Slayer. The fact that Doom Guy and, and the Dark Lord look alike, it says in the old codex. Now, this is uber spoilers. Turn it off if you don't want to hear this stuff. Uh, obviously, everybody who's tuning in heard this. They're just it says only, to only a prime evil. It describes Devoth as a prime evil and that mm -hmm. only a prime evil or something stronger could kill a prime evil. So what's a prime evil? And who makes prime evils? That's the that's the mysterious question I will not answer because the Doom universe is vast, that's and um, we're just gonna leave that hanging out there. There you go. Uh, here's another thing: at the end of Erdak, what I'm about to play, you will see now that is returned at launch. It was mysterious voice yells no when she dies. Right. In a patch, because our patches have been friggin' glorious with bugs, <laughs> it got reverted to Devoth, which is. That's not Devoth. Like, that was never Devoth. Like, that is not supposed to be the Dark Lord at all. For about two months, it was like that in a patch. And we took it out because it's supposed to be Mysterious Voice because that is not the Dark Lord. The idea that there is something beyond that could be overlooking all this mm -hmm. is what that voice is meant to tease and, and, and uh, poke at. Um, when the Slayer, when, when the Dark Lord empowered doom guy mm -hmm. and and samuel again they went through many night sentinels and you know there was an indication he could be the chosen one obviously he might be a prime evil they they uh he he empowered him and converted him and turned him into the slayer but that is dr frankenstein's monster and what happened was he does not control him like because right. no doom guy doesn't listen to anybody like yeah. like frankenstein when when he woke up out of that divinity machine 
yes, the Dark Lord thought uh, essentially Doom's story is about a series of just bad managers messing up. Like, you know, <laughs> Samuel thinks he could run things, but he messes up. The Dev Dark Lord thinks he could run things and he makes the makers and he messes up. Like, everybody messes up. He thinks he can make this super weapon because he knows that the, that uh, that the, the Doom guy will destroy uh, the demons. Uh, and he's interacted. He knows who he is. And and uh, he does, in fact, I'm sorry, he knows that he will destroy the makers because the makers are working with the demons. And and that bet works out for him. But what he doesn't account for is that the Doom guy is outside of his control. He basically makes Frankenstein's monster. And that does not go according to plan. So after the events of, uh, of, of what you hear in the lore mm -hmm. and all the way leading up to Doom 2016 when they seal him, uh, in a sarcophagus, it's because that dude is wrecking shop. Like, yeah. I mean, he 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 created a monster that he has now let loose on his own people, and it's chaos, right. you know. So, and that's why I think Doom Guy is so awesome because you know he doesn't listen to anybody. I mean, he he is the Tasmanian devil, and he wrecks shop in hell. And so that's why the Dark Lord is the one reading those um, uh, Slayer's Testaments in 2016 uh. because he's like. This thing is a, a menace, and, and, <laughs> and do not. We finally put this thing to rest. Don't wake it up. Do not do anything. Yeah. Like he did, just leave him there. You yeah. know. Uh, ultimately, he does rise, and then sort of like an aspect of what the Dark Lord had hoped for does happen. But of course, he turns on him too. Right. So the Dark Lord doesn't have it all worked out. I mean, I I don't think that he anticipated that he would not be able to control him, nor do I think he anticipated that he wouldn't be able to defeat him. You know. Uh, so it's kind of the Frankenstein's monster storyline. But yeah, like uh, like Hugo just pointed out, for the full uh, for the full story on that, uh, Tyler McVicker just did a really uh, awesome interview last night that he's going to be posting uh, on his YouTube channel uh, as he splits them up into different segments uh, with some video over them. So check definitely check those out when they come out. They're going to be they're going to be rad. So now I'm now I'm worried to send more lore questions your way because we get into it on this. No. So that's what I like. There's a lot. Let me see. I'm sorting through some. Oh no, we won't have time. <laughs> He's like, no more lore questions. That's fair. Um, all right, this one's not a lore question, unless you make it one. But that's up to you if you do this. All right, the question is from Marlicht One. Hey Hugo, since Erdak. No wait, I'm reading the wrong one. Damn it. There's too many coming fast. All right, wait. No, this is it. Sorry. Back to Frogman JPEG, which is a fantastic name. Frogman JPEG says, Okay, Hugo, I have an important question. What's up with all the Daisy appearances, and are they just references, or is she following us? So this is a Daisy-specific question. Nice work uh, on that, Hunter. I, that. I, nice. uh, the way I thought about Daisy... Mm -hmm. is I can't, uh, la, la, la. Okay, I'm going to not stop. The you way I thought about Daisy... So... Josh, sir. All right, I'm gonna see if we could get this right, and I think we will. All right. <clears throat> a '90s movie, I believe. I want to say late '90s, mid '90s. Uh, that is arguably, I would have to say, Quentin Tarantino's greatest screenplay and Tony Scott's greatest film. Oh, I'm with it. Yep. What is that movie? True Romance. That's right. Yeah. So that's why Josh is awesome. <laughs> Because anybody who knows any chat, please tell us that you know True Romance and you know it to be one of the greatest movies ever made. It's extremely good. Uh, yeah, it is. It is unbelievably good. Yeah. Um, so Christian Slater uh, at his height. Yes. So you know how Christian Slater sees uh, Elvis. Mm -hmm. Who, by the way, Elvis in that movie is played by Val Kilmer, and all of Which was the like a, it was like a saying, prophecy. "Who the hell is Val Kilmer?" <laughs> oh so, no, please, not that! You got to know who Val yeah. Kilmer is, my God. Yeah, yeah. So, so Val Kilmer was Iceman in Top Gun. What is Top Gun? We have to stop having this conversation. <laughs> but that, that goes right back to Tony Scott. So you just did a full circle. So that's you're good. that's you're good. right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So um, Elvis. So so Clarence, who is uh, Christian Slater's character, mm -hmm. he sees. And talks to an imaginary Elvis in his head. Yeah. And um, and that's I thought it would be hilarious that <laughs> Doom Guy sees bunnies. You know, uh, 
And so, yeah, we and plus it's Daisy, so Daisy's got to be in the game. Yeah. But, like, there's just the idea that, like, you know, he sees, like, fictional, bu you know, bunnies that may or may not actually... Well, clearly they're not there. I mean, I don't think there's a bunch of bunnies r running around um, this world. It's a dangerous place for a bunny, that's for sure. But, yes. But Daisy does make a lot of those guest appearances. So hey, you're saying uh, it may be here, it may be not, but the but the Slayer sees I, them. I think it's him. in his head. I mean, okay. I, I I just think it's, you know, he sees them. <laughs> Who knows what's going on with Doom Guy? Right, I right. mean, uh, you know, he said one word. Right. That's true. And if you ask the question to the to the Slayer, the word you got back didn't tell you anything. So we don't, he's very mysterious. Man, this is every question. It feels like ends up being a lore question, even if it's not marked as one. Uh, but this is appropriate for the level, so I'm gonna wait until after this encounter. And we're gonna ask. Love this Marauder encounter. A lot of space for this Marauder encounter. This might be one of the like bigger. Like it, it can get corridory, but there's enough space to kite around. I actually love this fight. And you get to see him jump, which is just a beauty. You don't get to see that too often. It's awesome. Why did we add here. the sounds to him? Because I told you guys that I really thought that first time players. Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. He need help. There we go. He does need help. Whoop! Right into it. Oof. Oh, it's getting tight. Nice job. Nice job. Oh my. All right. Here's the question. Because this is an Erdak related question. This is from. Marlick one he says, he or she says, hey Hugo, since Erdak is basically your guys' take on heaven, what happens to souls there, and can they even go there? Uh, I'm not gonna make up shit on the spot. <laughs> I didn't think that- um, Like hell you're not. No, go ahead, where you go? You know, they're, they're, uh, they're consumers. I, I don't know that like, you can graduate up to uh, becoming a maker when you die, or that there's, that they do anything with souls, I think. Uh, Here it comes. But I, <laughs> he's gonna say it again. He's gonna say it again. <laughs> the uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't, you know, TBD as to what they do with souls. I never really saw it as that kind of place. You know, like they're they're um, they kind of see humans as cattle. That's really it. I mean, they need human souls to go to hell in order to uh, get combined with Sentinel energy to form Argent energy, and they use Argent energy to prevent themselves from going through the Transfiguration, which basically means that uh, if they're allowed to uh, go through the Transfiguration, they don't die, they turn into Cthulhu monsters. Mm. And I'm a huge H.P. Lovecraft fan, and I love Cthulhu stuff, and I thought it, it was so cool that, uh, that they would turn into Giant Cthulhu, uh, Cthulhu monsters. monsters. Hell yeah. Feeding the meatballs. Just making some spaghetti. Um, question from uh, Umbra Executor. The question is, when will the DLC be on Switch? Stay tuned for that on social channels. As soon as we have the full info, you know, Panic Button's busy working on that now with us. Uh, we'll announce it. But yeah, it is happening, so do not worry. Ooh, Archfile, just going straight in. I like this approach a lot. Oh my god. We got a nerf Hugo. What's going on here? I thought you said you were out of practice. You just wrecked that Archfile. I mean, even when I'm out of practice, I'm still... That Archfile um, just stands no chance. I'm still the best. <laughs> still the best there probably ever was. I think so. Yep. I was talking to, you know, the, the Toyota and those guys on mm -hmm. their stream. Big shout out to Toyota. Thanks for having me on your stream. Had fun talking to you guys. I missed a meeting because I was talking to you guys, and we severely <laughs> pissed off one of my coworkers because I embarrassed him by not showing up to something. But uh, that cannot happen but again. That's okay. That never happened. That never. Well, it was made up by I a may, team of I, writers. I gotta set. I got. I gotta. I was gonna ask you. Like, I yeah. gotta send him something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll have we gotta, to look we it gotta, up. Gotta, we gotta figure we it gotta out. Gotta do nice things. We'll do good. But, but um, you know, watching them play, they were like, "What do you think?" And I was like. You know, pl play this, play these mods on a Nintendo 64 inverted controller, and then I'll, then talk to me. I dare you. And then I'll be impressed. And then like tomorrow we'll see a video of them doing it with a Nintendo 64 controller. We're like, all right, get lost. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't, I, I don't think they could, to be honest. That it's, controller it's, is rough, man. I know people have good memories with dude, it, but I'm sorry. 
So I went to Jason O'Connell's house, which is like a museum to video games. Yeah, he's and, got a super uh, I'm sure nice collection. your house is very similar. And, and um, I've tried to pare it down. I've seen his dude, collection though, and it's sick. Just on his on his uh, his cam. Yeah. Dude, I um, holy cow! Yeah, man. how did it go? We what did y'all play? We 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 played Goldeneye <laughs> with with the base 64. <laughs> let me tell you, dude. Some things are best left just in the memory banks. Rose and, tinted. Just keep oh the glasses. Jesus! Yeah, that was. That was so rough. Like, I was just like, how did I ever do anything in this? Yep. Like, that was me and my video game prime, guys. That was uh, during Goldeneye? the period. Oh, yeah, dude. Those were salad days? Okay. Go Goldeneye, Pratt Institute, circa 1995. I was unstoppable and just played all day. Like, that's all we did was play. And, um,. Just that couch, couch multiplayer, that death. That's match right. Th local. That was. That's like my, you know, like the old high school football heroes mm -hmm. that don't shut up about the, you the know, that's glory days. The the on the Al the Al Bundy stuff like that. <laughs> that's me, dude. Like the, just like I, I was it. awesome. Yeah. I, I was good. <laughs> You're like, no, I didn't use odd job. I wasn't a hack. And then it's no, like, I never used odd job. There dude. you go. See, I knew, I knew you'd say that. <laughs> no way. We don't use odd job. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. I this is an arena that man, the first time until you find that uh that buff totem is rough and tough. It still has a lot of hiccups that you can catch yourself on with Cyber Mancubus with the Tyrant and that those Hell Knights just give and chase at all times. I just love the space of the tyrants in this though. I love it, love it, love it. And there's that window you can't shoot through but you can see through. Not a lot of fights with those peekaboo windows, but I, I dig it. This arena is really cool, and of course the whippies running around just causing, causing chaos, as ever. Ooh, I like how brazen you're being right now, just leaving that right side open. I'm so surprised that Whiplash didn't come in and punish. No, I could, I could feel it coming. Is that what it was? You, you had the sense? Feel, you, no, you oh. could. No, I could just sense that I was like, yeah, this is, this is not gonna end well if I keep standing. Here. Yeah, you like, just started to feel the tickle. Breathing down your neck. Oh, we need some chainsaw too. We're at, we're yeah, I, no on I ammo. Oh, that hell might is not the one. It's not him. Oh, there it is. Nice work. HP a kiss. Oh, ah, the whippy, the whippy, whippy. Oh, double whip. I That's got, why. Double whip. Because I across stood the sky. there way too long, my friend. I got a question for you coming from Games Titan, which was written in all caps, which doesn't mean that's why we read it. Because stop yelling. But here it is in all caps. Uh, I'm not gonna yell it. What about Doom Guy, Doom Slayer family? There is a photo under the desk in the Fortress of Doom. Hot topic question there. That's his wife and kid. Boom. That's it. How about that? It was his wife and kid <laughs> before all of this stuff happened, and uh, that's who that is. Love it. Some people said it was BJ. I'm like, what? 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 Yeah. And it's like BJ's wife and kids are in those games. It looks nothing like them. It's got two daughters and a wife. All right. I'm feeling good about this. Oh, with the, okay, sure. Just run right over him, you bully. Oh my, I feel like your backside right now needs, to, ooh! Yeah, was that uh, a Hell Knight behind wrong. us? Yeah. It was, they were coming in on me. He was throwing throwing southpaw punches. It wasn't even fair. I was also Never becoming very static. Yeah, you were getting uh, too comfy behind that window of protection there. You didn't. What you didn't even it? want to. You didn't even want to. You'll dash next time. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to feel what? the 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 the, the wind it, blow I, in your I, hair. <laughs> I just wanted to cruise for a second. Yeah. Just see how far you could get without any dash. I got more questions, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna just wait a minute because I feel like I just I just got mauled. But I think it's that thing too, where like before the first time you die, you're just cruising. Everything you're doing is clicking your. Yeah, I know. Good. I was I was in a really good flow. But then I feel like <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> you gotta put your J's on, man. You gotta get God. your Jordans on, bro. Um, but I feel like we all do this. It's like after yeah, yeah, no, no. you start got, to overcorrect or whatever. Super over overconfident. Yeah, yeah. But you got it now. Dial it back in. Ooh, nice. Ooh, good timing on actually not getting hit with all that uh, that toxic noxious area that the old cyberman put down. 
Who even needs? We'll get that. We'll get that later. Oh God! You hate to see a whippy in midair. It's not, not the last you want to dance with in the pale of moonlight. There. Just showing him that the ballista is on the board. You don't need to shoot him with it every time. Sometimes you need to put the threat out. Nice frag. Love to see it. Some falters in there. Ooh, ice him down. Let's go. Get the DPS. Oh god, yes. This is running the spreadsheet right now. Oh, it's looking really good. I love a good ice burn turret mode on uh, the mod on the chain chain gun is just VV satisfying. Put the brains out. Oh, very nice. Oh, Mankey's ready. Good job. Dude, this is it. This is the one. You're just clear in space. Man, I, I never get sick of that whiplash rattling noise. Again, Chad and company, huge shout outs. Oh, speaking of which, shout out to the, uh, the South by Southwest Gaming Awards. Uh, excellent in excellence in audio design went to, uh, the award went to the Doom Eternal audio team with Chad and the boys and, and girls. So huge shout outs to them, man. That was, that was really cool. Oh God, whippies though. Whippies are trying to end it. You're doing good though. Maybe a little armor kiss at some point soon. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go, that's the stack. Nicely done. God, the animations of whiplashes too. Never get sick of them. That's why I like, I always take care of them immediately and get them off the board because they're so dangerous, but I love seeing them do all their animations because they are so rad. Oh yeah, get it in. Ooh, that one's pretty rare. I like that one from behind. Get them to, uh, Fully fold on themselves. Nice work. One thing that I, I remembered while playing um, Blood Swamps, what it, what it teaches you mm -hmm. is um, is worth taking your time. It's better to be accurate yeah. and aggressive than, like, missing your shots in Tag 1 mm -hmm. is definitely painful. Yeah. You know, like, you really need to, like, just take that extra second to, like, not that I was doing it too well there in the beginning, but the uh, you really do need to take your time to like land those shots. Let's see if I have anything else here. Oh, I'm sure we do. We could upgrade some stuff, I mean, right? We've got 12 points, bro. We need to load this Slayer up. What are we doing? Oh yeah, barrels. I don't know, I'm just, I love I'm just spending money. Yeah, just go to the highest number things. You're like in Vegas right now. Just pulling yes. the slots. <laughs> Yeah, I'm seeing huge shout outs to Blood Swamps and the OST. It's really good. Huge shout outs to uh, to David and Andrew, man. Keeping it real. Keeping it so sweaty in, in both Ancient Gods 1 and 2. Love it. Uh, I mean, I pretty much. Oh, yeah. That's for full auto. Love it. Do we even have anything else to master? We do. Yeah, there's a couple. Damn, you're going in on the. On the fully auto, I love it, dude. I love. Fully do auto. I want? What are you thinking? Because you have a mastery token too. Oh, heat blast. Yeah. What do you like to use most often with those? I mean. Uh, e e do you have the lock on fully done? Oh, I don't even have this gun all the way upgraded. Oh, that was turret. Really stupid. Yeah, we need to get that. Yeah. I mean, the base ballist is pretty good, honestly. I mean, Destroyer Blade and Arbalist are fun, but even at just the base, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> what is the exploit for her, chat? It's micro missiles? Yeah, uh, for who? Whippies? Conmaker. Oh, Conmaker. Yeah, what do you guys think? What is the ultimate... Uh, quickest way to kill. I'm seeing Devo, shout out to Devo, our friend from, uh, one of our many friends from Down Under says lock on, lock on rocket. I'm seeing, yep, lock on an SSG, yeah. A little bit of PB Ballista never hurt anybody for sure. I'm seeing a lot of that. Lock on, burst, yep, yep. BFG shot, sure. Get that, get that in there. Definitely takes down that HP pretty quick. Yeah, lock on and ballista. Destroyer blade, sure. I mean, she's a pretty, uh, pretty easy target. 
being such a, a floaty. So guy. by the way, this is this is the synthetic world. Like I talked about, like the kind of like this uh, was world built in a way to show that like there, you know, the world is is all. It's like this organic living machine, you know. It's cool too because that stuff reminds me of like that. What do you, I don't know what you call it. Is it resin and stuff and 3D printing where it's like? Uh, yeah, rap, rapid proto. That's yeah. what it was based on. It's the idea cool. was that they were like rapid prototyping their world. That's awesome. Love that. And the, just the ambience in this in this map is. It's so tight. It's so different, man. Like y'all went nuts <laughs> on it this is. one. It's seriously. Cool. It feels so foreign, but like, it, that's why it feels so cool to be there as the Slayer. Because it feels like you don't belong in the best way, where it's like, you are an invader yeah, right now, you know what I mean? It's it's kind of beautiful and unsettling at the same time. Yeah. Ah, there he is. My nemesis, the Dread Knight. <laughs> GG, see you later. Weapon point acquired. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta punch it before you touch it. It's just a standard Slayer procedure. I don't know what that is that's in like our whole game. It's a proximity thing, I guess, or something. I don't know. I've gotten used to it at this point. I just accept it. I just feel like instead of a cutscene where he punches it and pushes out of the way, I punch it and then I touch it nice and gentle. Um, let's see. Ooh, this is a good one. Really, really good one. This question is from Make sure I say the right the right name. Sursa Victory. The question is, question for Hugo. Do you have any resources you would recommend for game designers wanting to apply push forward design to other genres of games, including turn based ones like roguelikes? Uh, do I have any references? Uh, resources you would recommend for game designers wanting to apply push forward design to other genres of games. I don't know what resources means. Like like books? There's no books on push forward design. Yeah, I guess just like uh, maybe what's a good starting point for? I mean, obviously we you guys have you know done a pretty extensive. I think it's 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 all public stuff. What was that GDC a couple of years ago, right? There was a GDC video yeah. on that. So that's a good I resource. I mean, if we want to talk about like yeah, like the 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 principles in general, I think it's just if you place the resources that the player wants mm -hmm. inside of the enemies and then you you uh you basically say i think where where eternal takes it a step further is it says that certain certain attacks will extract certain resources mm. and just that as a high level broad principle you know can can produce some really interesting results that personally i think would apply to a lot of genres of gaming sure it's a great answer Speaking of resources, there we go. Ah, uh, the Maker Drones. They're right there when you need them. All right, this one's been pinged a couple times, so I'm gonna ask it. This one is I Ping Potato, that's the name. The question is, will there ever be a New Game Plus or a Master Level playthrough? Um, and then they would stay, they followed that up to say, I would hate to play all the levels individually Oh, I'm sorry. I would hate to have to play all the levels individually to have a greater challenge. So I guess the, the question is, is will the master levels, will there either be a new game plus or will the master levels ever be arranged where you can play them, um, I guess, without having to play the base versions of the levels and or play them, you know, um, yeah, that was gonna happen. in order, like, you know, like almost like a, like how campaign has the, you know, map stitched together. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if it'll ever come together like that. I know yeah. we would like to make uh, a bunch of them watching myself die. Um, <laughs> we'll see. No, I can't. Uh, can't. Let's first just make them. Yeah, 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 that's fair. Let's make more and make better and make harder and make people sweat and curse and break their components like their controllers and their keyboards before we stitch them all together or talk about all that madness. But I mean, look, I think it's clear to see that the coolest thing is, is just like you were saying before, like everybody at id is so in tune with where the community's at skill wise and where they're at as far as like what they're hungry for content wise. And that's why, I mean, you and I talked about this before, but those first master levels with art complex with um, cultist base, they're tough. They're good maps. They're, they're really hard. They're really fun. 
and then DLC 1 happens, and then at the same time you guys make Super Gornass Master Level, and you guys make Classic Mode, and it's like that... <laughs> Super Gornass with Classic Mode in Nightmare, or even Ultra Nightmare, which is available for that, is about, I don't know, five or ten times harder than both those Master Levels as first two combined, so... That's why I think everybody is like so excited about the promise of you know having stuff like the Ancient Gods Part Two Master Levels, and after the promise that you've been you've been putting out today, which I think everybody was was super clinging onto, is the fact that like we understand that you guys want a challenge that seems absolutely insane, at least at the highest level, and you know we're listening. So it sounds like we're gonna make that. So look forward to that. So let's get there first, like you were saying. Oh god, that cat could even in the air. I'm worried about that cat go. Nice. Oh damn, I love that you try to do it with the frag though. I love the frag version instead of just the uh the I was zone. trying. No, it was good, it was good. It was just barely out of range, but I love it. Uh oh. Resources wise, we're gonna need that. We got two uh two pips in the chainsaw too. Ooh, taking the outer. I love it. Getting a little covered. <laughs> Sneaky deaky. Oh Jesus, I cannot believe you lived through that. Oh, there she is, get it! Oh no! Oh no! That was really close. You stretched that life out at the end there. I love how you I took did, that I outside route. I love doing that sometimes, like jumping out of bounds and jumping back in or meat hooking back in. I love doing that. All right, this is it. I can feel it in my bones. But yeah, keep the questions coming. These are good questions. Ah. I thought you were going in for the chainsaw, but I wasn't sure if you were trying to just get HP and maybe get him uh, get him a glory killable. I was going to try to do something, but I didn't do it. That's <laughs> all right. Nice. Hit. I love it. I love the alternate route. Throwing the AI off, keeping him guessing. <laughs> What are you gonna do with him all alone? Oh, there it is. All the resources are belong to us. Be nice. Almost a full restack. Ammo's looking like a tasty amount at this point. Beautiful. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it. It's like you're just prioritizing targets, creating space, giving yourself more room to move around, not getting hit. I feel like the burn is up next. We need to do Bernie Sanders here. Oh yeah, plus the ice bomb. Lovely, lovely. Got a pip if we need it, but we're doing pretty good on uh, on ammo skis. Dude, you are the outside inside man. I'm loving this. Nice, with the stagger in there. Cat goes back on the board, but we ready. Ooh, I like that interruption. That was nice. Yep. Sometimes that's how I feel too. I'm like, I could whip out the plasma, or I could just remove this chest piece off the board. Oh damn! I didn't even see him spawn in. Rut row. Oop! Shield's doing work though. Shield's doing work. Another caco out there. Be careful behind you to the right angle. Nice, nice, nice. Oh good. That caco is confused, and that is a blessing. There we go. Oh no. Oh. oh. I love how risky you get with the rocket launcher, though. It always uh, makes me tense. So stupid. <laughs> no, so you've gotten. Remember, I remember it was a couple weeks ago. You were playing on a. God, what Slayer Gate was that? It might have been last week, but you did a rocket launcher so close to so many people, and it was like the perfect distance away to get some HP out of it and not die. And I was like, I'm just going to shut up as far as this guy popping off with rockets and like in corridors oh, I, because I, I, you got I love, the distance I down, love, man. Yeah, I love uh, shooting the rockets. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Chainsaw. There it is, we got this. Easy. Still a little bit of HP could be nice, but you know, we'll get there. Nice. 
nice, nice. I feel like we need a uh, maker drone. We need to make that happen. Ooh, there we go. All right, all right. Resources acquired. Ooh, that prowler was a really nice back dodge for that. Getting right back into the heart of it. There she is. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Resources regained. Oh, that dude. That Revan is like trying to become the heavyweight champ. He was swinging that thing. All right. A little bit of gas never hurt nobody. You get one more pip and uh, you can take down heavy with that. It's always fun to do. You don't get to see those animations too often because it's a lot of resources. Oh god. We need to just. Let's go. The maker drones are the answer in the way. Oh god, though, that caco. Yep. Alright, thank you for the health and the effort and the armor. Very nicely done. If we can get this plus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stun. Alright. Feeling good, feeling good. Making new routes. Making the AI move around. Oh no, I got blocked. Oh no. Okay, nice, nice. Nice dodging. Dodge Caravan, dodge Stratus. Oh, shit. All right, we're good. Good, the Shepard. Nice job. <laughs> this, is, this is the run. I can feel it. You're making some spicy moves in this one. Oh, yes. The juice is loose. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, such a nice ice bomb. Oh, going in, going out. It's raining. It's raining armor. distance mixing in that PV love to see it you know that guy wants to oh you're going full you're breaking that shield oh I'm loving this this guy's playing design he's playing straight design game oh I love the space yes please one bridge ah. too far it's okay it's still your friend you can still do it. <laughs> there we go get them resources back Gotta go! Got to go! Gotta go fast. There it is. Oh, beautiful. Alright, this this space belongs to you. Where you want to go, you make your own way here. Alright, that Baron, I feel like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to take that piece off the board. Too much ground pound for anybody. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wait, there's another. <laughs> the brother and sister is back. Alright. I feel like we have it down to a manageable size. But the Prowler! That Prowler doing exactly what the Prowler's supposed to do. Come out of nowhere and scare the hell out of you. Ooh, very nice burn. Oh, this is it. This is it, boys. Fucking second time that stupid thing. You got this. I know, that, that one uh, floating boy is just like your ballista blocker. It's like actually a demon. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Nice! Let's see it in chat. Let's see it. That was well played. Nice, nice. Good clean up. Alright. That arena just got bested. First time, every time. Easy. That's it. That's Piece just the cake. Just Gen X energy coming out right there. Big it brain is. in it. No big I deal. Just, I like to do it a couple of times. Just to, <laughs> just to show. Build up people's confidence. That's right. Go. Oh, I screwed that up. I think you needed, you went a bridge too far. There's one board in between. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's nothing funnier than just falling through. I like how you just ignore those other ones. You're like, I'll get to you. We're doing it now. And here it is. This is it. With, with a little pop shot at the end, you got this. Mm-hmm. Making it look easy. Well played. That was tripping a lot of people up at launch. I remember that. I remember seeing people's videos and they're like, "Why? Oh, yeah. No, why?" Well, I mean, again, it's it's uh, it was meant to be. I wanted there to be one last challenge. Yeah. You know, like one last traversal challenge that was like the hardest one in the game. Yeah, that one's tough. I see people shouting out Doomslayer eighty eight, shouting out that um. 
the final message. So if you don't know, if you've beaten the Ancient Gods Part 2 and you didn't stick around all the way to the end of the credits, you should. Because there's a little message there that, yeah, that was really cool. I saw a lot of people celebrating that. Nice touch, Hugo. Nice touch. Uh, what's that? The uh, At the very end of the Ancient Gods Part 2, after all the credits roll, there's that uh, intern line where he comes back in and says a little, uh, little fourth, oh, yeah. fourth wall breaking message. Very cool. Yes. There was actually going to be a lot more messages like that, and we uh, we kind of chickened out and took them out. But there was going to be some really funny ones. But I feel like if you're going to uh, break moments... the, if you're going to break that wall, it's a great place to do it because it's like we're out of the game at that point. You know what I mean? Yeah, we we had a couple other ones with regards to uh, VO lines um, for the incidental encounters. Oh, the escalation is yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, es escalation counter. Sorry. Yeah. seen a lot of love for the intern in chat. It's funny, when we were first talking about Ancient Gods uh, Part 2 and you were talking about all the crazy things, you know, we could have, would have done had we all been in an office and had a million years and like, you know, having mech fights and turning into dragons. I saw somebody in chat, I can't remember who it was, being like, what about the intern getting like his own suit? And it's like, well, yeah, of course, we probably would have done crazy stuff like that if oh, we had that, infinite time, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> that would have been, been awesome. That would have been tight. All right, you are Stuff. you are rushing through this. This is looking good. Well, we got so much to play. We do. We really I can't. Do. I can't mess around. We, can we, we got to catch up. Who here. designed like this? This is so. This blew me away the first time I played it. Do you remember who yeah, designed yeah. this part? It's so cool. Uh, well, the level or the art. The art for this being here. Oh, that's uh, uh, designed by Alex Palma, I believe. That is that is a. Uh, uh, a former con. Damn. So there, there were. There's always a con that leads the makers. It's kind of like the queen bee. Mm -hmm. You know, the 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 queen of the hive, and uh, and they, their society is mu very much again like insects. They're like a hive, and uh, but they're not supposed to rule forever. Like, but when um, the father leaves, then the con maker takes over, and she, you know, it's, it's like a president who doesn't give up after his last term right um which luckily we didn't have to deal with well, yes to a certain degree <laughs> but no it's cool how you get to see basically like a, and, and a that's, con that's, outside of like their their entire armor yeah, and, and shell right and past the point of transfiguration like you know tbd as to whether or not that that particular maker had gone through trend like it's in my mind that's what they become you know like giant cthulhu monsters and even worse than that yeah, the art is just so rad. I mean, there's that moment, what is it, in like cultist space, I think, where the, you know, you knock that giant beast down and you use him as a bridge. But that one underwater, it's like so unexpected and so cool. We that have 1,400 viewers. Damn. How y'all doing? Holy cow. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> I feel like I need to do more stuff. I need to dance or something. Is that what it is? Are you guys want to see Hugo dance? Please don't say yes, because we, we, look, we're putting all of our Big Boomer energy into this gameplay. If we start dancing, we're going to injure ourselves, and there's not going to be any more doom. Okay, so be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Nicely done. I love the, the pain sound. The pain sound is awesome. Dude, I love that sound, too. Whatever crazy language it is that she's speaking. Love it. Nice hit. Dude, you're wrecking. Wrecking shop. Yeah, lock on rocket is definitely a good tip there. So thanks to everybody in chat who was like, lock on ballista. Yes, please. Okay, got the resources back. Using that pillar for protection. Time to lock on, boy. Oh, yeah, dude. It's doing absolute work. Oh, God. Maybe get a... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get them resources. Where are the drones at? Where are my drones at? Oh, very nice shot. This is it. Dude, you're running the spreadsheet right now. This is looking good. Two more. Oh, damn. I thought you were going to BFG. <laughs> that, uh, that little con. Uh-oh. It's getting volatile in here. 
Resource get. Managed. Yeah, why not? I missed! Oh, no, no, it still did the damage. Still did the... The side. Plasma, this guy's what out of his mind. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, oh my god! No! You got an extra oh. life. We got this. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, gotta get a little closer to her. And there it is. Let's get them resources back. Where are the drones at? There it is. Nice work. Alright, get that lock on. Let's get it. Oh, yeah, why not? Stand right there in it. In the ring of fire. Ooh, it's getting dicey. Oh, that was so stupid. It's getting dicey. Yep. I just want resources. You got it. It's, she's ready. She's ready. Switch it up. <laughs> what the f I was trying to attack the thing. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, my stars. That was so stupid. Oh, man. It was one step too far. A literal pinky toe uh, in the muck, in the in the hazard area there. It's okay. We got this. That was a warm up. Again, we boomers just need a couple times. You know what I mean? Just sort of show how it's done. Get comfortable. No big deal. No big deal. Oh yeah, lock ons are gonna get it done. Nice work. All right, a couple more. To yeah, go. lock on is really the way. It just eats the Dimaggio, and, and you and you you know because it's locking on perfectly, it's just gonna hit with all the damage. Oh, I like it. Getting back to the roots of the micro missile. Love it. All right, she's ready. All right, four more. Nice and easy. Where are those drones? Dude, I love the drone sounds too. The way they swing those things around. They sound nuts when they move. Nice. All right. Is she gonna take all the lock-ons? Oh god, the hazards. Oh god. <laughs> Going rockets in, I love it. Nice. Dude, slow and steady wins the race. Full resource restack. Love it. Alright, I think one more set and a ballista maybe. There we go. Bink. Yeah, exactly. Stone Phoenix says, this is why I love this fight. It seems so easy and straightforward, but at any second it can slip away from your control. I love this fight. Yeah, completely agree. And also just like as a set piece, her design is so cool. Oh, there it is. Nice work. I'm having trouble attaching to her. It's driving me crazy. Chat, is that like normal? I haven't played her in a minute, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, you do have to get kind of centered up on her. Oh, there you go. Nice work. Yep, she's ready. You do have to get kind of centered up on that, but I don't know. Like that one was, that looked like it was attached right away. So that looked pretty good. All right, this is it. Yep. One more set. Just a ballistic shot or a micro missile. Back on. Match on. Yeah, boy. Nice work. Woo. So now we get to see because she has, uh, she's been the con. She's one of the oldest makers. And you get to see the transfiguration underneath her face. So when she said, when she says that, she's talking about the humans, how the humans through various forms of religion kind of you know worship her they don't she, she's kind of like a fictionalized you know a character obviously but like it's her belief that uh if they're not around to uh to help you know all of existence and and grace them with their holy presence that there will be um chaos that that would ensue not to mention as he's now broken the holy seal of erdak the demons can now enter into Erdak, which is where uh, DLC 1 takes off. And Mysterious Voice is back to know. Right. That's what we were talking about earlier, yeah? Yeah, someone someone greater than uh, 
or 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 a step beyond Devoth. And the maker, like, who's to say that that voice is, uh, is evil or good or, you know, who they are? It's just a voice from beyond. A voice from beyond. That's what my mom sounded like when I was, like, <laughs> she was yelling at me from, like, from the front of the house. And I was outside doing something. She was like, yeah. <laughs> She's like, did you do your homework? You're like, <laughs> why can I still hear you? <laughs> No. So that quote there at the beginning mm -hmm. was uh, at the beginning of the level is meant to say that, you know, in a, the Slayer is like a prophecy, you know, like uh, I think the idea that the Slayer is um, you know, the coming of the Slayer, like prophesizing the Doom guy as uh, as the savior of Earth you know, almost that this, this, um, he was ordained, but this battle was foretold, you know. This arena is one that I loved the first time I played it. And then Swan Song, again, shout out to, to my boy, uh, one of the absolute super juicers of the community who does those nutty runs like doing you know no bfg no crucible no ice bomb <laughs> no no care devil may care attitude really taught me that this arena is like one of the most fun ones if not the most fun one in the base campaign to really warm up to when you're like trying to get like you know oh yeah get the rust off when you haven't played in a minute dude this is this will test you absolutely and it's I mean, so quick chat, and easy to get to. There, there's reviews that say, this is what I don't understand. This happened in the last game, too. And I guess it's just people who maybe don't like the combat as much. And, like, everybody says, like, they're like, well, you know, the, the levels are amazing, except for the last ones, which really just suck. And I'm like, this is, like, the best part of the game. Like, oh, they, they were saying that about the base campaign, about this level. Well, no, and, and yeah, exactly. That's like I would insane. read the reviews, and people would criticize this level. And I'm like, do you incredible. not understand what the point of this level is? This is yeah. not about puzzles. This is about let me see how badass you are. You right. know? Right. This level definitely tested too, because it's like every AI in the game, and then coming at you all at the same time in waves and waves and waves in every single arena. Yeah, yeah. that's that's, and we're never gonna stop doing that. I mean, right. like. The last, the third act of our games should be just, all right, let, you know, bring it on, dude. Like, yeah. this is it. Like, that's what this is. This is basically like tag one. This is a test. Mm -hmm. I. This is just perfectly meant to be like, you think you're good at this? We think otherwise. And again, or rather, or rather, it's meant to say, show us. Right. And it's different too. You know, because... show, show us how good you are. Yeah, because in the you know in the base game to get to this point, unlike in, in tag one and two where you have all the tools, this is the first time you really should have everything. It should be pretty maxed out or close to maxed out. You should have all your slayers, you know, uh, slayer tokens. You should have everything in the Praetor suit in your arsenal, like fully capable to just wreck shop. So this is the first time it's just like putting it to an absolute test, right? So it makes a lot a lot of sense that in the base campaign and not in DLC one and two, this is like where we just test everything the whole entire time and we don't let up and it's amazing my favorite part this is uh designed by luis uh and uh i think you know really just totally fun uh james Sellen did uh parts of the combat adam badeau did part of the combat uh what am i doing <laughs> oh god, the gargoyles are out. Oh, go -do -do -do. I'm telling you, gargoyles have ended almost every Ultra Nightmare run. They are actually my Ultra Nightmare enders. Is it chainsaw time? Yes, it is. Nicely done. Yep. Little HP a kiss never hurt nobody. Nice. Oh my. <laughs> that close rocket, you're a nut. I love it. Alright. Cyber Demon's out. What? Extra life has been used. Did I. How did that happen? I think it was. Who, the. Who I, I think me? it might have been the ground. Uh, 
swell that came out of the cyber demon, but it might also have been somebody else I didn't really see. Nice burn. Plus the blood punch, and there. Yeah. My my favorite part of the game, and what really was just ecstasy once we got it right, was how you can stack, you know, multiple forms of damage. Uh, like being able to burn while chain gunning, you know, little things like that on a controller, you know, like with a base controller, you know, you could do like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that imp is not going to die. There we go. All right. You got the ice bomb ready for the doom hunter whenever you're ready. And I have two blood punches. Yeah. I mean, you could chainsaw for ammo, maybe, just to have it. Couldn't hurt. Nice. All right. I love how, like, you, you pre kind of prepare yeah. to take out AI, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just start going like, okay, I'm going to start with the ice bomb. That's the plan. I need to have enough to quick switch between ballista and super shotgun. Yeah, like, well, it, it's that's why I say, like, the player has F-22, because you really do... You feel like it. Mm -hmm. You know, like you, you plan these like runs. Yeah. It's like the bombing raid kind of thing. You have to, yeah. Oof. Get that map, boy. <laughs> you gotta punch it first. You gotta warm it up. That's gotta, just how it works. You gotta works. punch everything. Yeah. I'm pissed that I wasted that extra life. Mm. There's still more in this map. We're good. We'll get them. There's two more, I think, at least. That I can remember. Maybe there's three. Chat will tell us. Um, let's see here. Okay, here's a question. Because uh, this is coming up soon. There's an extra life already. Question is from Covenant Slayer One. The question is: With Final Sin, considering the one part we can see the ID Software logo slash building. Does that mean that the Icon of Sin are duking it out in Texas? Oh, uh, what's that? You know how the id building is basically like kind of almost Easter eggy in the background uh, towards where the bridge sequence is, where your Icon run, you know, runs through. The question is, is, is this in maybe a version of Texas? Why not? No, but let's go with it. Okay, I like it. It is if you think it is. If you close your eyes, shut your eyes and you believe it, then there it is. Manifest destiny. I love that you can, like when you're in the middle of that glory kill, you can see that prowler uh, effect, that awesome visual effect, the purple stuff of him. Porting in and out and slashing. Love it. Again, just gives you that like second to think, all right, I'm planning ahead. I got to deal with the Prowler now. Oh, there it is. Such a nice burn when that frag grenade time to get all them, all them coins back in the form of little armors. Oh, pinky time. Okay. Oh, JK. Yeah, the, the blood oh, punch to kill a pinky. This is my favorite level. I love this level. It's so satisfying. I just want to kill things. <laughs> <laughs> this is the level for that. For How sure. How could you possibly think that we are caving to be, the, the, some of the stuff you guys said early in the week before we came together to love each other was mm -hmm. ridiculous. <laughs> there is nothing about this game that is compromising. Are you kidding me? If we change something, it's for the sake of balance. It's not to. I, it's still a race car, buddy. Yeah. And I, and I would want to make... I don't want to play anything else, and I don't want to make anything else. I don't know how to make anything else. Well, thank God, because this is the game that we all came here to watch, see, play, and love and respect, and keep playing. Everybody at id just wants to make this kind of content. You know, from the level designers to everybody, it's like, this is just... This is what we live for. I mean, Luis and, and uh, again, I think Selen... Selling in those guys. If you look down there, um, to Bideau, the... you're good, you're good. You know, they just went to town, and and uh, yeah. I think Adam did this one. The the um, you know, and absolutely just meant to be 
you, you know, for certain. For certain, the ultimate test. <laughs> G Freeman five one five says, "Time to wipe out Tomato Town." Got that shit right. Uh, Whippy's on the board. What you gonna do? You know what's funny, actually? The way that you whipped out the, uh, speaking of whippies, the way you whipped out the mod there for a second and just use it for, like, a moment. It's funny, I've seen, I can't remember who it was. God, I was watching a stream the other day. We, Mayo does that. Is that Mayo? Yeah, like, that little yeah, he pause. Tickles him. Yeah, where you can just kind of, like, get kind of a stagger out of it, but then also get enough time to sort of that, get the F out of the way. It's a good technique. That was a massive exploit uh, at one point in development. Mm -hmm. we, we balanced it out uh, to the point that it was, like, fair. Oh, but it used to pause for way longer, right? He gone. Lately, I've been messing with the PB. Look at that Arachnatron. How'd you get up there? I'd love to see her climb the wall that the carcass built. That's amazing. Dude, carcasses are a problem. Gotta get rid of them, gotta get them off the board. Do it! I knew you were gonna flood punch. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, you, the tickling effect was something that... Um, the microwave mod, yeah. Yeah. I wanna make... I think we gotta go up and around to get there, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I always forget with that one. Where do we go from here, Josh? You go in, in, in you terms go. of video game oh, design. I, I don't. Here's let's have a conversation about that okay. for a second. Not not like we're not you know giving any preview or anything sure, or sure, like sure. that. But just like I I think ultimately you kind of have to let Eternal stand on its own. Like mm -hmm. 2016 stands on its own. Yeah. And it we weren't trying to make 20. That that's actually some people wanted us and expected us to make 2016 two. And right. while Eternal is a sequel to 2016. Like we we didn't want to repeat that game. We think that that game stands on its own beautifully. Yeah. And this game stands on its own beautifully. So just in terms of design, I think whatever happens uh, with whatever we do, I I don't want to make it feel like it's it's trying to do oh, well. It's this, but you know, mm. but more. Like right. The I don't classic, think there's any like, more. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough to say because, you know, destructible demons, double dash double jump all the time, crucible, hammer, weapon mods that are actually significant and that play a, a huge part in having enemies that specifically can be taken down more effectively with different mods. I mean, not to mention the scale and the traversal and everything else with puzzles and all that stuff. It's like, it's hard to push that further if you're just going in a straight line, right? Like from 2016, it's like you guys didn't, do exactly like you just said. You didn't just do the Doom 2 version where it's like you added a super shotgun and maybe a couple more enemies. Like, you guys took the game and pushed it as far as that race car could go, like 1,000%. I think that's absolutely undeniable and everybody agrees on that. So yeah, it's a good question as far as where to take it next, right? Because you can't really double down on this formula because you guys did it already, you know what I mean? So it's like maybe there has to be a new set of rules and a new formula and a new car to drive or something, you know what I mean? I, and I, I like to use broad analogies to kind of set the tone. I think that's a good way to approach things. And, and, it, and it is like, if you're if you're a Ferrari in this game, mm -hmm. what are you in the next it game? I think you should be a monster truck. Oh! That, that, that's like what that. I'd like to do. I'd like, about... to feel the, I'd like to feel the weight, you know, and whether it's... You know, whatever it is, I I think like Doom guy could be uh, man. I'm fucking killing it on the traversal. You just like evening, seeing folks. a lot the, of the 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 places that nobody normally sees that yeah, are yeah. at the bottom of the buildings. It's good. No, I like, so we're talking about Bigfoot slash obviously Grave Digger. We're talking about being a big heavy tanky. Well, and, boy. It, and it could be Doom guy, and I'm just saying sure, like I think sure. yeah the tone like this I, in this I feel like enough 22 fully kitted. Yeah. 
but I'd love to experiment with feeling like, you know, the A-10 Warthog. You know that that big honking mm -hmm. old jet mm -hmm. that Michael Bay loves to use in his movies. That thing <laughs> he does. that's it's got that 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 gun that. Hey, if there's anybody in the military in chat, the gun on the front of the Warthog has like the coolest name. Uh, I forget what, what it's it? called. Oh, damn. What, come on, chat, help us. What is it? Gun in I, the I front think they of the call Warthog. it the, the, fi the, hand, the hand of God or the finger of God or something like I'm that. I'm seeing but, it's um, the GAU equals 8 equals the Avenger. Is that what it is? I don't know, but but it's, uh yeah, just the weight. You know, the weight of a monster truck. Damn. I like that idea. Yeah, I see Canadian yeah, Comic 42 says, this arena kicks my ass. I love it. Yes, this is a good one, man. This one puts you at the paces for sure. But yeah, so we're, we're thinking monster truck is, is maybe like the place to go. Because again, yes. like you said, we've already made this sleek, absolutely kitted out, unstoppable force that's, you know, that's mobile and that's not as heavy, right? Like you're fighting heavier things versus you being heavier. So that's an interesting, uh, that's an interesting angle. What I like think, the weight Chad? of the hammer. Like to me, the hammer feels cool because it's one of the first weapons that the Doom guy has that feels heavy, mm. you know? Like most of his weapons feel more surgical. Yeah. You know, like whether it's the ballista. Certainly, the shotgun has weight to it. But yeah. I see what you mean, though. So having more blunt force, more yeah, heavy, yeah, and just yeah. and just weight behind it. I like it. <laughs> Chat's loving it. I'm trying to read this. It's going fast. Let's see here. We'll wait on that question for a second. We gotta get through this. This arena is, you're doing really, really well, by the way. Your stack is nice. And you're dealing with this and pushing the AI around in a way that is, it's so hard to get greedy, like to not get greedy in this map because there's yeah, just so you can't, many targets. That, that's the whole key. Like if you get, if you hang out for too long, yeah, they, they almost like tell everybody like, he's over here. <laughs> they get their friends and then everybody they shows also, up. The, the prediction of the AI, they follow you. Like, so one thing that I notice is that if you kind of move in like zigzaggy ways mm -hmm. and like, you know, don't don't keep heading in the same direction, you can throw off the, the prediction of the AI. Like, cause they're, they are, they're just follow. It's like they smell blood <laughs> and big shout out to Jake, the programmers for, for the way that they handle the prediction and how the AI just kind of track you. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. But it, it does mean that like, you know, uh, moving, you know, in a rhythm that's... Oh, oh. oh my god, I love how you're staying in this. Oh my god, we need ammo! There it is. Oh, no, not yet. It's his turn, though. Yeah, you're right. The way that... Oh, I love how you kill that tyrant and you're like, alright, well, we're done with those. There's no more, no more cyber demons here. JK. How about two more? Oh, Kako on the board as well. Getty for everybody tonight. All right, nice start, nice and easy. Get the cacos off the board. Oh, blood! I mean, buff totem. Why not? Sure, sure, sure. But you already got it in sight. Using all the traversal. Bing, bang, boom. See, that's, I wish a, you that's, could, that's a punch. I wish you could meat hook to the. Uh... Oh, that would be sick if every buff totem was like a grapple point. That would be really sick. That would feel good to meat hook grapple right to the buff totem and then smash it. I'm seeing a lot of support in that. Alright. Gotta be careful here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, I saw you whip out the rocket launcher. I clinched. I clinched my whole body. We're good, though. But that extra life is gone, which is fine, because I think there's still... Maybe there isn't anymore. I can't remember. Sorry, right, we won't need him. You're going to one-shot the Icon Ascent. I can feel it. That's my prediction. That's my Babe Ruth point for the day. Very nice. Resources. Get. DPS. Done. Yes, sir. 
I love dropping a frag off, just leaving it behind, just letting him deal with it. I do too. It's like my favorite thing to do. <laughs> yeah, you're like you might be faltered, but I'll get I'll get back to you. You do you do you for a second. You be faltered. I'm gonna get some resources. some ammo ski. There it is. Yes, sir. I love how revenants are a single barrel, a single double barrel shotgun at, at point blank range kill. Because they seem like they can take a lot, but it's only because a lot of the times, you know, you're just picking them off, taking off their cannons and stuff, but it just takes one if you're super up close, which I love that touch. Here, wait a second. <laughs> Getting rid of it? Ah, the animations are so nasty. You don't get to see it enough, honestly. Every single animation in this game I want to play on loop. Crucible is for posers. You heard it here first. Yep, that is a hard flex. Chad is loving the flex. I like when, I think people do it because they know I read the comments, but I like <laughs> when they're like, you know, I saw in one of my last videos like, no offense, but like, he's really not good at his game. What? It's like, it's like okay there, dude. All right, guy. You try playing this being 40 pounds overweight with <laughs> cholesterol. Never heard of that. You tried doing it with Big Boomer Energy with another boomer shouting questions at you from chat, That's trying right. to trying to get deep into lore in the middle of combat. That's how we do it here. Welcome. Welcome. Destructible demon. We have this. Flame cannons. You don't have that. Turret, it gone. Oh, burn? Oh, plus frag? Oh my god. Yes, please. More of that and thank you. Alright, we do need some ammo ski. We got some fodder around here somewhere. There's gotta I know. be. Gotta There's be. gotta be. Maybe go down a bit? Just take a little uh, tour. Tour of America. Mall of America. Well, well, so it is. Use the tools we got. Oh, plus the burn. Yes, please. Dude, those dodges, you're keeping just the perfect distance away. <laughs> yes. I hate to tell you, but you're directly in the middle of the fun zone right now, and I am loving it. <laughs> I I am, dude. <laughs> dude I have a condo in the fun zone. I have a timeshare <laughs> in the fun zone. <laughs> uh, All right, so this this fight is not meant to be fought. This fight is meant to be BFG'd. Hmm. But guess what we do on the, the, uh, the Gen X show? We, we fight everything. That's right. We fight everything that wants to give us free BFG ammo with just more switching, more chainsawing. Oh, God. More kiting, oh God. more giving. It's oh okay. God. I don't know. I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> you I, can do it. You can do it. You you're definitely do it. supposed to kill that with a BFG. Nah, nah. Uh, this. So this. this is going to be just chat. Before just, my belief no. is here, my belief is like up here right now. It's off the camera. It's off yeah, the you're I have really, the really, really not supposed to do this. Nah, you, you know, like, like I promise you, I remember specifically saying, I want you to open this with a fight that no man in their or woman in their right mind would, you know, we give just... you a BFG right there. We're trying to say to you like, hey, it's a good you idea. Should really, you should really use this. Sure. But Come on, you, fodder. But will you listen? Nah. No. Nah. No. Nah. Boop. Love it. I love the way that you use. You, it, it seems like you've killed like almost every single uh, cyber mankey with the ice bomb, and I love it because, man, they the way they can deny space up close and throw that noxious hazard down, like they are such a pest. And you want to blood punch them because you want to knock off that armor, but it's such a risky thing to do when they just do so much AOE if you get close. So I love the way that you're ice bombing the hell out of them. All right, we got some, we got some company up here. There it is. Ooh! What? It wasn't what? enough for that. That Mankey was tanky. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, that guy might have had a buff. Uh, was he buffed? Chat. Was he buffed? Was there something buffed uh, about that? <laughs> that was so not right. It's all good. It's good. I'm not supposed to do this, Chat. We're not doing it nah, the right sorry. way. We're doing it right. You're running this. You You're supposed gotta... to use the BFG. Look, I think it's because you had somebody that was airbnb your fun zone condo, but maybe it's time to, for them to vacate the premise. You take back over, you know, 
wash the sheets, do the dishes, get back in there. Get right in the middle of the fun zone again. I think it's time. Oh. This, this is the good sweatiness place we want to be. Do you have blood oh, punch? You don't. That's okay. Um, I, knew I, was, I knew I was gonna die. We need to build a little bit. The, the, uh, Put that in the bank. All right, all right, all right. Let's get, let's get serious. Let's get steady, yes. All right, Are you no, okay? No BFDs. Buster Wolf. Let's go. We got this. What would Terry Bogard do? All right, here we go. Get him out of the sky. He didn't belong there. Man, we got to get that blood punch back. We got to start getting some, some GKs in there. We got to build that meter. That was, dude, that pinky and that hell knight were like, you go left, I go right. That was coordinated. I got to give it to them. They I might gotta, have I a... gotta, I gotta eliminate targets. Yep. I'm coming in here weak on ammo, so yeah, we gotta yeah. strategize. We gotta strategize. I think we, right, gotta we gotta use gotta take fodder out... a little bit. A little bit. Ah! Damn. All right, we don't have the blood punch for that pinky just yet, but we gonna get it. Here we go. All right, that's good. That's one. So we got a blood punch if we need it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's a pinky behind you. Oh, I like using it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? And get out. Very nice. Very nice. All right, there is a cyber monkey that wants to deny all the space in the world, but the jump pad using that verticality, staying off the ground. Ooh, shot him I to wanted, death. I wanted a friggin'. I know you did. A GK out of that. Yeah, I, I want. Oh! <laughs> I did, wasted my time getting ammo. It's okay. It's okay. It's good. It's never a waste of time. It's an investment. Put it in the bank. I'm making a deposit at the ammo bank. I've never actually fought this. That's not true. Honest. That's not true. No, no, I did. I, I always, I this one, BFG. I always choose to be Not this but... time. We're not doing it. We are not doing it. Look, you can BFG the icon of sin all day. We're beating this arena just like it is. We're doing this. We're gonna put. What about all those people that are like, ah, Gen Xers don't have any reflexers? What are you playing with that, an inverted controller? Right. Are you a bum? We can't take that. We can't take that. That's we gotta... right. We gotta crush it right here. This is it. Oh yeah, he's blinking. He's ready. Oh yes, yes please. Resources dump right here. Oh, nice shield. Dude, just negated that Arachnatron. You're about to make him Arachnagon too, but dude, those pinkies are scaring me. I gotta be honest, I keep hearing them. I'm like, no. Yeah, 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 they're on me. Yeah, they got the scent. And, and we really need some glory kill action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy Ooh. cow. Oh. Ooh, that is shvetty. That is very shvetty. Okay. We got almost one in the bank. We need to do some pepper. Maybe some, like, just heavy cannon or a little bit of plasma and some fodder. Like this one. Oh, headshot him. GG's. P beat him. Never stood a chance. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Here we go. All right. Oh, dude, the pinkies. God! Our number one right now on the if there's a uh, tier yeah, list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think you got to take out the pinkies first. Pinkies are at the top of the tier list right now. If this is a fighting game, yes. pinkies are unblockable. I'm, <laughs> have... I'm, I'm, it's cool because I, I uh... like dream frames or something. Because you what? What were you saying? All right, like... all right, all right. Ooh. Oh god, gotta go. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh my god, dude, that is like Custard's last stand right there. You put a lot of bullets in that. I like that. I, I dumped it out. They stacked up, though. That was good. That was really good. All right, Hell Knight's coming in for his druthers. Oh god, I hear the pinky. They're the ones I fear the most right now because on the tier list, remember, they're right at the top right now. Yeah, pinkies are doing the tech for sure. I feel like it's also because the, the fodder is just like fewer and far between in that really evil way right now, which is, is, is good because it makes it so much sweatier where the resources are a lot harder to come by. Nice. Don't forget those barrels too because those barrels give us a little bit of ammo. Nice, nice, nice. What you the fuck? You have, a, you have a pip of uh when you need it. Yeah, here we go. And you have a burn ready too for whenever. Oh, love that drop off of that. Frag. Yes, please. More of that. Pain Elemental? Never heard of him. Ooh, God. Gotta go. Got to go. See you later. All right. A little bit of HP is all anyone ever needed. Nice. Nice. 
All right, yeah, Hell Knight, see you later. Dude, the frag grenades drop-offs are just crucial right now. I'm loving it. It's clutch. Dude, those, those Lost Souls are freaking me out. We got to get rid of them, too. Going in on that Mancubus. Oh, my God. You escaped it. Very nicely done. All right. Those Lost Souls are, like, starting a coven or something. There's too many of them. They're freaking me out. All right. We got some space. Feeling good. Maybe a chainsaw time. Do we have a pip? I think we do. Nice, nice, nice. And next up would be some armor. Just whenever it feels right to, to burn. Ooh, very nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir! Double paint elemental. Yeah, we gotta take one of them out. Be careful of that cyber mankey. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes! Finish him. Get the pip. Why not? Nicely done. A little bit of armor. Oh no! There was something behind you there. Oh, that was a good run. That was. We're, we're, I know. We're learning. I just. I needed. Got to start taking dudes out. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. Because it was get, like I, you had him to like seventy-five percent, like the cyber manky and yeah, like the pain element. I just. I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh, I got to lay down the DPS. Yeah, you yeah, Can't yeah. be dancing around the whole time. It's just those finishing shots. We got this. Just going right into the dread knight. Ooh. <laughs> Damn, you're having that fight up close and personal. It's like no holds barred Hulk Hogan versus Zeus. Just mono y mono. A lot of testosterone being thrown around here right now. Ooh, no ammo. You gotta get it. Ah! And we don't have a blood punch, so we gotta get that chainsaw in some fodder ASAPers. Maybe chain gun intel? I don't know. What are we thinking? We're looking for that meat hook, that's what we're looking for, I can feel it. Okay, we got a little, we got a little, a little to work with here. Alright, that slightly healthy, slightly not healthy Rakatron is gone now, that's good. Oh, I like the space, I like the distance. Who's next, Mankey? You taking him full out? God in heaven, yes! And we're out. Okay, good, good. Got some armor. <laughs> this is like, it's like as a chef right now, you're just like throwing a lot of pepper down, which I like. You're like, you're making investments. Ooh, who's still up? Who's still up? The Dread Knight is. Oh, God, the Dread Fuck. Knight. Double. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. It was so stupid. It's all right. We're just, we're just getting too comfortable in our, in our... When some people this are frozen, encounter is not are. meant to be fought. Sorry, this, we're doing it exactly the way that we said we would. This is Gen X Big Energy stream. Uh, welcome to no BFGs all the time uh, I forever. Should've, I should have. All right, all right, all right. Arachna gone. One more. Love it. Yes. All right, he's ready. He's ready. Give, give it a little bit more pepper in the sauce. There's no blood punch in the can. All right, we're out, we're out, we're okay. Don't forget with those barrels too, you can hit them, they won't hurt you and they'll give you a little bit of ammo ski at this point. I think we had the fully upgraded uh, Praetor suit for that now. I think we spent those coins. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, we gotta get out of that. Who needs to go, the Mancubus? Is it his turn? <sighs> too hot, too much flame. That's a BBQ Slayer. That's a new skin. Okay, 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 okay. We got this. I need ammo. That's it. But the I'm fodder is the fodder is like so spread out in this in such a devious way. Yeah, it will be again, I it's, love it. it's not it's not really <laughs> meant to be fought this way. No. It's okay. Look, as the director of this game, I think playing it not exactly how it's designed is is you're right! And by God, we are flexing that right right now. And I love it. I think we're all here for that. Yeah, they're saying you need to use the BFG, otherwise you get sw swarmed. It's fine. Use the Fun Maker. No, that still qualifies as BFG Big Energy. We're doing this raw. Ooh, nicely done. Can't believe we got out of that. Okay. There is one fodder behind you if you need a chainsaw back down there on the other side of that staircase. 
He's ready for it. Is he gonna jump up? Sure is. There it is. You also gotta burn whenever you want. There it is. Nice. This is feeling real good. Get that GK on him. You got a Mancubus behind you down below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta watch your back with the Mankey. I'm afraid he. Oh, God, get out. Oh, no. <laughs> There was that was so there too. stupid standing there in the middle of everything. It's all good. You got Dumb. it. Dumb. Of course I was going to die. All right. We got this. All right. This is it. <laughs> Bold move right in front of him. Oh, freeze. Stop right there, sir. Oh, get rid of him. Oh, God. He's still there. Shit. I don't know if you're going to make it out of this. Oh, my God. That was the sweatiest start yet. I like what you're doing. It is brazen, to say the least. Oh. <laughs> Dude, those Arachatrons were coordinated. They had to plan, like, you go that way, I'm gonna go this way. We'll both be up there sitting there waiting. This is good. All right, I I'm all right, seeing, right. don't let the blood dry on your sword. So. Oh, the blood is not dry, it's just too much of it. <laughs> too much blood, can't see sword. Need help, send help, SOS. All right, this is good. And and by the way, it's just, I know we're in the perfect spot. We're in a good place because I'm realizing now that I'm smiling so much, my face hurts. So we're doing good. We're doing real good. This is, uh, this is such a good arena, dude. I, we can do this all night. I'm fine with it. <laughs> I don't even mind. All right, Cyber Mankey. Ooh, you risky boy. All right. I should have, I should have froze him. He needed to be frozen. That is the way. I don't know. I've never done this. I don't even know if it's possible. <laughs> All right. It is possible. You can do it, I believe. And the soundtrack is kicking it right now. It's it's exactly meeting the mood. Double Arachnotrons. Got to go. Got it. Yes, yes, yes to the frags. Plus that. They gone. All right. Here we go. Almost? No, you actually got a decent amount of this. Maybe we could use a little bit of Ballista, but you got a ton of Super Shotgun right now. Everybody's ready for the Flame, too. Oh, we need HP, though. Oh. Double gas. Feeling nice. One HP. You better... Yo! I thought you were going to get that GK in there. That was so close with that I thought you too. Damn. All right. You know what we're not using? What is it? We got to use the Meat Hook more. We got to get Aerial. We got to get under the sea. <laughs> that was yeah. my Disney joke for the day. Can't believe that came out. I didn't even <laughs> watch this. I don't even have Disney Plus. That's not true. Somebody's always got a friend that has Disney Plus, and we don't have to say any more about that. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Double Arachatron's already gone. All right. We are staying on the ground. Wow. I like this move, though. Dude, you're taking care of some biz. All right. Get out of there. Meat hook. Get out of there. Okay. Dashing will work, too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, you're doing work in this hallway right now. This hallway belongs to you. What are they doing in here? This is your meat locker, not theirs. No chainsaw? Why not? Just leave them. Get back for later. Two fodder on the right there if we need them. Yep. Get close. Super shotgun. Ooh, watch out for that pinky. Do we have a blood punch? We do. We have two, by the way. So let's not use it on fodder, but for sure that pinky wants one. Nice, nice. Yep. Good night, sweet prince. All right. This is nice. This is the spreadsheet. All right. Those gargoyles are freaking Randy Newman's over there throwing like Nolan Ryan freaking heaters. Doing a lot of <laughs> this at the Dodgers and then the, the Texas Rangers. I don't even know how I know. All my baseball references died with uh, early 90s sports games. All right, here we go. We got this. Ah! You're looking good. You're looking good. Ooh! Okay. The condo, again, belongs to you. You're the sole resident in the fun zone because that gargoyle shot gave all of us life. At the peak of... At the apex when they were about to shoot that down, that PV shot was so precise. It's like a shot heard around the world. Oh, plus the... Yeah, we're doing this. This is it. Marauder, never heard of him. Not interested. We got this. 
We don't have, okay, we now have flame back up too, so if we wanna get that in on some fodder, why not? Yeah, that Revy needs to go. Ooh, take out the points, get the GK. All right, all right. Yep. Sit down, cause you're stunned. Beautiful. Yep. We got a dog doge behind it. Oh, nicely. There it is. Dude, you took care of that. You took care of that, Marauder. There was care put into that. Oh, what no. What the fuck? The arch fire. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> Gotta go. Get that. Get that. All right. We're going to need. That was the ground furrows that the fly through the air chat called it. Burn Call it down. Why is it happening? <laughs> Outrage! We need the outrage. Outrage about that, chat. What? What? Why are we not outraging about that? Uh, that is legit. So annoying. All right, here it is. Oh, that was an art shot, bro. That was like volley, ali, ali. Oh no! Please, God. Yes, yes. Get in. Meat hook. Finish. Go. Don't. Yes. 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 Oh my god, well played, game over, we did it. Shut this thing down. That was not down. supposed to be played that way, chat. You're Woo. supposed to shoot the, oh my god. You're supposed to shoot the BFG. <laughs> we get killed by a gargoyle now, that'd be so fitting. Dude, I'm still, all I can think about is when that gargoyle got up right to that point and you just turned around and like 180 PB'd. Inverted controller, vanilla Xbox One controller. I mean, I've never done that before. That I've was always beautiful. I, I've definitely fought all the fights without BFG shooting, but yeah. like, I've never um, uh, fought that arena right there. No, I've never fought that. So, chat, should we? <laughs> do we have any more arenas? That was the last one, right? That was the last big one, yeah. Okay. Celebratory. Eat that, Orion Inc. Eat it. <laughs> I always mess this up. Uh, let's see here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Where am I supposed to go? Wait, I'm sorry, I lost the thread. Turn around. Where are we looking? Let's look outside. Yeah, we go. We go outside that way. No, no, no. Give it up. Yep. Yes, sir. That's it. Nice work, nice work. Yeah, we got this. Jessica from HR. So, in this one, she says progressively weirder and weirder shit. So if you listen, <laughs> if you hang out, you'll see that by now she's kind of gone insane. What is this chat? It's not even textured. Seriously. Burn oh it down. Oh my god, how could this happen? Oh, she doesn't say two here. Yeah, I think it's just one on that one. Is there an extra life somewhere that I'm missing? Uh, yeah, there's one right there that we didn't I think get. I left back it behind there. me though. Yeah, I don't know if we can backtrack to that. Who needs I mean, it? I can. Who needs it is what I want to ask you. Who needs it? That's what I'm saying. With the way you're playing right now, nah. That's We're it. Good. We good. So, is that saying this right? Yeah, okay. It's Base Slayer. Sorry, there's just so many S's in there. Base Slayer 3R 2099 wants to know, was the Icon of Sin always meant as Eternal's final boss? It's badass either way. I'm just glad his head's out of the giant wall. So the question is, is was, was the Icon of Sin always like in the plans, the final boss yeah. of Eternal? Yeah, absolutely. Nice. And I think we're all glad that the Icon of Sin is now more than just a, a head on a wall. He got a upgrade for sure. That's a good question. What is this? Who is this? All right. How do I say this name? Jesus. T R F U R Carney 18. All right. I said that part. Lore question: Is the Earth Doom guy saves in Doom Eternal different than the Earth that he saved in the classic Doom games? Same Earth. I mean, he did. Earth? He, he, yeah. Uh, I, th I uh, let me think about that. I believe so. Yeah, I mean, like, because of the way that we structured the story at the end of Doom 64, 
he chooses to stay in hell. So right. I would think so, yeah. I mean, Earth just needs a lot of saving, y'all, period. We get it. Are we messing with this? We don't really mess with this Multiverse too much. Confirmed. <laughs> yeah, what else are you... Yeah, we do have some points, though. Uh, I got the heat blast. Yeah, you do. I don't really use the heat blast. Too busy uh, ghost busting. Yes, we could go for... Um, <laughs> OG Doomslayer X says, Hugo, what do you think? What do you think about parents of the Gen Xers still playing Doom? I think it's cool. My parents don't play Doom. Yeah, mine don't either. Man, one time I watched my dad play Contra in the oh, 80s. How was, was that? Tough. It was a nightmare. Yeah. I was like, Dad, you gotta stop. You know what's I'm funny like, though? Is, did your did your parents have any games that they got into? Because I remember when we had an Atari 2600. My dad was a Frogger guy and my mom was a Pac-Man lady. Period. No. That's, those are the games that they played. The only games they played. That was it. No, they they really didn't. Uh, they were just like, I'm trying to make money and put food on the table. <laughs> I'm not yes. trying to sh see how this frog can cross the road. That's fair. That's fair. No, I yeah, I, re I remember watching my dad play and just being like, I, I can't believe how bad you are at this. <laughs> Which that's how we're gonna be one day, yep. you know. We're, gonna, we're gonna be picking up like the the neural device and hooking into it, and <laughs> or, you know, having like a seizure. You know, like, like, ah! So we're gonna be like, I know kung fu, and then you just fall apart to pieces afterwards because right. you try to do a single yeah. cool kung fu move, and that's that. Totally. My son is better than me um, at video games. He's ten. Damn. Yeah, we beat Destiny together. I I manned the controls and he pulled the trigger. He's been playing games. I love it. And um, his whole life and and I don't really regulate how much game he, games he plays because I play games all the time. So it's like impossible for me to turn around and say to him, Yeah, you can do only as I play say, for, not as I do. Yeah, I for sure. I don't I don't have a case um, <laughs> at all. So uh, he uh. Nice, sneaky icky. Love it. All right, what's the strat here? What are we doing? Ballista super shotgun. Love it. Damage is real. Being done. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We're back. For a second there, I thought I thought I lost your internet. You had pause for a second, but we're all good. We're all good. Man, I thought the Icon of Sin was so strong and so powerful, and had been on Earth for so long that you just shut the stream down. I was like, please, Mr. Icon, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dude, knocking that armor off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That DFG shot just ate everything. Yeah, it was too powerful for the stream. I Break! Love this. Uh, dude. You are just lighting them up right now. I love it. Nice use of the teleporter to GTFO. Ooh, eat it. Eat it. I missed. You did. <laughs> Dang it. He moves too much. We got to fix him. <laughs> oh, God. Guys, we're going to we're gonna delete the icon in an update. <laughs> he did one thing we didn't like during the stream. He's gone. Forget about him. He's out. Dude, you are standing dangerously close to him right now. Like, I think his navel, his belly button just poked out and flicked you. You gotta get gone. If that ground pound comes down, it's gonna be G's. Nice, nice. Good poke damage. And a little verticality, get rid of all these AI. Yes, dude, I love how close you are to him right now. You're playing it wild, it looks amazing scale-wise. Dude, he's getting stripped down. All right, he's very low and almost on his, almost got that first health bar down. So you're about to kick into the next phase. Nice work, nice work. Dude, still getting the GKs in, still playing it. Oh yeah, why not? Love it. Oh, one more. Oh God, one more. Two more. There we go. All right, one more piece of armor. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. 
Yes, 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 why not? Have the fight. There it is. Yeah, we gotta get that soul sphere. Oh my god, I thought you were gonna miss it, but you totally nailed it. And some blood punch. Alright, looking good. Dude, phase one, absolute GG's there, my friend. Well played. Nicely done. Oh, armor? Free? Crucible ammo? Do you have it? Yeah, you're already full. You're full. I'm good. All right, first time every time. Easy clap on uh, phase one. Now phase two begins. Let's see what spawns you get, because that is going to determine how shvetty it becomes. <laughs> the little PB in there cracks me up. You're just like, beep. All right, ammo ski is what we need. We got blood punches for days, and we got crucible for days. Who's it gonna be? You might need a blood punch. Yep. Dude, where the fodder at though? That's what I'm saying. We need some ammo ski. We need it stat. We can't be playing with this Arachnatron all day long. And he got it. whoa, that is an a tanky Arachnatron. All right. All right, all right, all right. Oh, God in heaven, you got the arch file version. Yowzers, folks. It's going to be a sweaty one for sure. All right, what do we... God, yeah, Cyber Mank is in that. You got fodder to the left, of you. down there to the right. Yeah, to the right. There's one up there. He was upstairs. He came up. Oh, God, it's rain and fire. Hallelujah. Where? Right there. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, we I need gonna... all the armor and the H. I mean, you could get this. Did you already get the soul sphere? You didn't get it yet, so that's still up there when we need it. But we need to start putting some Dimaggio in him, man, for sure, for sure. There we go. I'd say leave the soul spheres for now. We're going to need it later. Oh, God. Oh, the Mankey. Oh, the AOE. Watch. It's all right. It's all right. You got this. That was just a warm-up. And honestly, if you don't get the Archfile version this time... Yes. It's going to be better. <laughs> Period. Um, Zaraki? No. Zakari Ghost 16 has the question, Is Devoth Lucifer? And is there a true god we haven't seen since Vega isn't the father? That's two questions. Yes. I believe so. That's super spoilery. Yeah. But since we're doing the stream... Yep. Yes. There you have it. Zoraki Ghost 16 is probably writing a novel right now, fan fiction, and I can't wait to read it because I'm into it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep. Stick and move. We need some ammo. Where is the fodder at, though? Wait, there's one down there below you. On the layer just under this one. To the left. Where'd he go? There we go. Iron Cladum says this is the best boss in my opinion. I 100,000% agree. I love this boss. I think about the Icon all the time. He is in my heart. He is in my house. I love how this is the mini. This is the mini series, like just for scale. Tyrant and or Cyber Demon. Icon of Sin. It's real. The scale is real. Bring this Icon to your life. Get him on the gear store. Get out to Fezda.net and uh, collect them all. If they're still available, you need to get them. Yeah, I've seen that these boys, these cacos, are selling for like 200 bucks on uh, eBay or something. So hopefully they do another pass. I'm not sure if they're going to or not, but get them while you can get them and collect them all because just like Pokemans, they, uh, they're only going to be here for so long and they're important and you need to get them because they're just so well made. They're super heavy and they're super nice. The quality. I'm talking about quality. Oh god, man, keep this up close. Please get some space to kiss. Alright, you got this. Fodder there too. There it is. Nicely done. We can crucible him. Yes. Oh no! You had the exact <laughs> idea at the exact time that was right. Set an alarm uh, or option? Oh yeah, we'll totally do that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we'll totally do it. <laughs> What's the strat? I totally forgot. It's like you gotta... On him? I mean, honestly, I don't shoot anybody that isn't him or fodder just for uh, ammo. I just stick and move. I don't even deal with anybody that isn't the two of them. So every other AI in the map, I just ignore. Same with, like, gladiator fight. I'm just... 
If you're not the target, then you're in the way and I'm not gonna mess with you. Unless you can give me ammo and then I'll get that. Man, you are fighting a bit point blank and I'm loving it. You're a, na you're a maniac, you gotta get out of there. All right, you gotta use, uh, wow. I can't believe you survived that. Nicely done. You gotta get some fodder and get that chainsaw in there. Where are they at though? That'll work. All right, so maybe some lock on, why not? Yeah, that's doing damage, that's doing it. Almost halfway. I like how the boss tip comes up there. By the way, destroy body parts. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm trying. Oh no. What the hell was that? I think that he got blocked because of that Geo there and it wasn't like a direct hit, it was like under him. There we go. All right, beautiful. Now let's focus back on the icon again. And I think we got this in the BAG for shizzle. Nice work, nice work. Yep. God, the sound of that attack is terrifying. Oh God, the cat goes trying to bite. We got to get going. Yep. Oh, I like how you still put the work in there. I really thought you were going to go Crucible, but I like how you go back to back to getting that. Ooh, oh, God. Jesus. That was like wrong place, wrong time. It's okay. Still alive. What are we thinking here? Fodder? Mother and fodder? Oh, good. Oh, my God. Perfectly landed there. Well played. All right, time to get the damage out, but dude, we need that HP. Yeah, and, and BFG, why not? You doing it? Yeah, hit him low. Oh God, he's moving. Oh no, damn him. He's oddly elusive. He that, is. That's the part about them that cracks me up. You're like, <laughs> he's the size of a building, but every time he moves, you're always just like, God damn it. You're like, but my BFG shot, please just move after it, not before Ooh. or during. God, he just we wrecked that me. Uh, 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 uh. We have, uh, we do have two blood punch though for that pinky. Yep. Oh no, he evasive maneuvers. Oh God, it's getting sweaty. Nicely done. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Might want to just chainsaw that boy. <laughs> Swing for the fences. Love to see it. Nice. All right, we're looking really, really nice. Let's get back to. What is his arms now, maybe, I think? I think his arms and his face. What else does he have left? Yeah. Oh, God. Get in the cover. <laughs> yes, sir. And picking up instant refill of blood punch, because why not? Because everybody loves a blood punch. Nice, nice, nice. Yep, yep, yep. You might even want to go turret if we're not using it for shield. Just get like max DPS out. Oh my god, that looks so <laughs> that looked epic with that attack right behind him. Oh yes, please. Plus, does he get one? Oh, you're waiting for him to thaw. <laughs> ultimate respect. Love that. <laughs> I wanted to be courteous. No, it's nice. It was very considerate of you. All right, arm flesh out. You still got the forearm there. There's a boss tip that says destroy all eight parts to kill the icon of sin. All right, it's a novel idea. He's about to make the big jump. I love the way that those fodder load up. Oh God, he's hitting you direct with that. Oh, oh my no. God, that was so stupid. I hate to see it. <laughs> all right, Crucible is out. We're out for blood now. Unless it's, oh God, the mid air. Let's, let's see more of that, please. That looked amazing. Except if it's fodder, then we need to get that chainsaw. He gets the chainsaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We need to get back to the icon now. Yep. Beautiful. Nice slow shot. Another nice slow shot. Oh, God, God, God. We're getting hit with too much. Gotta go, gotta go. What's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh, God, stay safe. Ooh, get out of there. What the oh, hell, man? Find That's find my find safe find. spot. <laughs> I told you never to attack me in that spot. We had a deal. All right. Yep. Yep. He shook it off because he had the gargoyle in front of him. All right. You got some ammo here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywhere. That place right there. Oh, my God. Knock that arm clean off. Beautiful. God, there's chunks everywhere. You got to go. <laughs> Not that we're in Gib land now. <laughs> Can't even see. Alright, fodder wants to be, yep, 
burned in chainsaw. This is it. This is it. Oh god, stay safe. He's hitting us in our safe spot. That right arm? Yeah. Ruh -ruh. Ooh. Oh god. Oh god, the cacos. I don't like the caco loose up there. He's freaking me out. Nice, nice, nice. Perfect blood punch. Got the space. Oh. Nice dodge. Dodge Caravan. Dodge Travis. Alright. Ooh. That's it, right? Shot. No, no, no. He's still got... I mean, his head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's still got chest to kiss. What else? That right chest piece is still getting hits. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. God. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Restack. There's a gargoyle up there if we need to. See him? No! Beautiful. Beautiful. Blood punch? No! Blood punch in a thing! That pinky! Dude, pinkies are top tier. We have changed the meta. Pinkies are top tier. <laughs> I punched. I didn't have blood. Did I not have blood punch? I thought that you did, but I, I wasn't. I, I didn't see it at the last second. Um. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Just getting, just getting oh my practicing. God. We're nerfing this fight. We're nerfing it all. Nerf the whole game. <laughs> right to the ground. Look at all that flesh. It needs to get gone. Dude, that shield was clutch right there. It was blocking all the right shots. Ooh. Splitting headache and dude, that caco was starving. Got a lot of good meat shots in. Gotta get that HP. Alright, Harry Potter, we're back in biz. We're low on ammo though, so we need to find some fodder. Oh no. Dude, that was some tracking on the icon there. Oh, that was such bullshit. <laughs> Freaking pinky, man. I was so close. That pinky was, uh... He, he was taking a, venge, a vengeance for all of his, his fallen brethren in the previous arena. He's like, no more... Not another pinky will fall to the blood punch of this slayer. Seriously, that was just absurd. That was per It was personal. That's what it was. All right. We got the ammo now. Let's get that. Ooh. Oh, wow. That actually helped us that time. the hell is behind me? That hell knight. <laughs> a literal piece of hell as a knight. Ooh. God, that is a tanky hell knight, too. Alright. Here we go. Taking pieces, taking parts, taking names. Leaving nothing but destruction in our midst. But ammo is going to be an issue. Not anymore, JK. Nicely done. I don't know why, but I. it's really satisfying to just hear those hit. The chain gun. But I don't know if you want to. Do you want to go turret, or do you like having the the shield for that? I like having the shield just in case. Yeah, just in case you get the frontal, the full frontal of like a cacodemon and a pinky charging. Okay, okay. Watch out for that sh falling, the falling skies. Oh God, we're safe. Oh God, yep. Oh, total avoidance. Perfectly done. Nice. Got just under that overhang in just the right amount of time. All right. We got half of his health already gone. You're doing gangbusters right now. Look at all this fodder. It's like they want a frag grenade dropped off and to be burned or something. Something crazy. <laughs> oh, get up here! <laughs> it was like a pinata that was just out of reach. It's like you had the uh, the blinders on. Yeah, oh. it was. It was like my, my, my son at his birthday party. Somebody just pulls the string. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you gotta get safe. Gotta get safe. You know what he needs. There we go. Not this time. Fool me once. All right. Here we go. I don't think we need that soul sphere yet, but you know what? Whenever we feel like it's the right. Time. Okay. Resources managed. <laughs> I love it. Kakad evens are just getting the crucible. All right. He's doing the death from above. Love the use of the verticality here. Yeah, that arm, that, the shoulder and the forearm. I think they're next. Oh God, that pinky almost tried to do it again. Dude, there's like a lineage of pinkies that are just, oh, dude, the gargoyle. 
The gargoyle was in there. Ugh. He's rising in the tears. You heard it here first. The gargoyle's getting deleted. Sorry, not sorry. That's right. What's this question? Let's see. Uh, that guy, Steve, has a question. He says, I remember Hugo saying in Toyota stream that you couldn't add a grenade or an ice bomb icon to the race car HUD because of technical issues. Are there plans to add it as an option in the future, even in the far future, to add the grenade and or ice bomb to the uh, race car HUD? Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I Obviously, we want it. Yeah. Uh, it, it really just comes down to time and prioritization of tasks. You know, would you rather a master level... Or that HUD. Yeah. I'd take a master level. But that's just me. What do you got, chat? <laughs> uh, what the hell was that? I didn't even see. I just heard the pain sound. That might oh, have been some side. Demons some coming side. in. Them dang demons. Demons! demons! Alright. Oh yeah, BFG just hit. We're looking good there. Yep. Not bad, actually. Not bad damage there at all. We're looking good. All right, almost at the halfway point. Yes. Oh yes. Dude, nice tracking on that whole set. Less than half HP on him. Only one body part destroyed, but a lot of them damaged. Real damage. Yeah, let's work on this right side too. Very nice. Yeah, it might be that time. God, pain elementals in this are just such a nuisance. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, dead center hit. Very nice. Where are we looking? We're looking good. Nice arm shot. Ooh, forearm deleted. Oh, God, get gone. <laughs> That's a big, meaty arm. It's got a bone to pick. Oh, God, get gone. Yep. Okay, he's doing the beam, too, so let's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're feeling, we're feeling fresh. We're feeling good. We're making really nice rounds. Nice routing. Oh, plus the soul sphere. We'll wait for it. We'll get it later. Yes, thank you so much. Very nicely done. I'm taking that out with the crucible. Oh my god, everybody gets some. Look under your chair. There's a crucible. Nice. All right, HP is is nice and juicy low right now, so it's time to strike. God, yes. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> Health from above, plus the hands. He's doing his jazz hands. And out. We got the crucible ready if we need. See you later. Definitely see you later. Nice, nice, nice. I think it's time for some fodder when you see some fodder. Dude, I love that you got him. You juiced him up for the GK there. Nicely played. Oh yeah, resources looking pretty nice. EFG shot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, this is it. This is it. That GFG missed, it's okay. Not a lot of meat left. How many pieces do we have? Oh my god, I think that's that. I think that is actually, wait for it. Ooh, stay safe! Very upset. Okay. Ooh. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I thought that guy with that I think I might have died right I there. That's like right at the end. <laughs> Holy shit! <sighs> oh man. Well. You know boy. what's funny? Like just so people know, like every time there's a release, there's drama. Mm -hmm. That fight's epic and crazy and and all that stuff. There's some people who didn't like that fight. Like I remember at launch, 
you know, a lot of, you know, not a lot, but a good amount of people saying like, oh, it's this, it's that. It's just like, it's hard to win with boss fights. Because it's either too hard, or it's too easy, That's it. or it's too long, yeah. or it's too short. I mean, the but... drama of the Dark Lord, the back and forth of the Dark Lord, and how he can earn back his health. I mean, that piss that either adds drama for people, and they enjoy it, or they think it's frustrating. You know, right. like, it's boss fights generally bring people to the brink. They age over time. Like, I think they, they either age well, or they age poorly over time. That's, yeah. that's usually the case. Look at our boy. I gotta say, I've seen so much Barbarian Slayer, which I live for, and it's been amazing in the Ancient Gods Part 2, but just going back to that vanilla Praetor suit from oh, yeah. Eternal, god damn, like, the design is so good. 1,400 people watching this, that's crazy. How y'all doing? Oh, you know what? I'd also like to know... I'd like to know how we're doing... On YouTube? On uh, on the forums. We got 1,400 people, and that puts us at... Uh, where are we at? Where are we at, on though? The I don't know. Oh, you mean on the... You just got... Yeah, we're not bad. We're months. not bad. We're up there a little bit. Pretty Always cool. Employees. Uh, what's at the end? We have to watch... Big shout-out to Steve Ash. Steve Ash passed away... Uh, at the end of the project and Steve Ash did the hands. Uh, he was a programmer in charge of the hands for the player. So uh, a massive impact on the project and he will be missed. Never replaced. Always missed. Always remembered. Uh, here is the id team. Uh, I don't get to name all of them by by name because I forget because I'm getting old and I had too much fun <laughs> in art school. So it's, it's a little difficult to retain. But like um, a very close group. We're a small team uh, by, I wouldn't say small, but by AAA standards, you know, like we, we uh, again, we always say we don't want, we don't want an army of devs. We want a, a group of Navy SEALs. And, and this is uh, SEAL Team 6, uh, as you see, uh, QA down there at the bottom. Those are the programmers, gameplay programmers right there. Uh, Gino, Mark, Evan, you know, it's just a lot of really great people. Um, I, I, I couldn't say enough. That's our security guard who protects us. QA. All the uh, QA is not an easy job. Big shout out to QA. These guys work very hard to make sure that the game functions, you know, uh, correctly. Adam Badeau. So many people. Uh, he works. He works upstairs on Quake. Adam and John. Yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah. Outs. Uh. Our, it, the credits list gets long because we also include the people at Bethesda, but actually, uh, uh, Alan Rogers, lead animator, we actually don't have that many people. You know, on the, uh, <laughs> but the picture cycle is so cool. Like, I love this idea. And I don't remember that's seeing Alex it. Palma. He, he made the, uh, the key art. All of our key art is done uh, internally under the direction of Derek Heidi, our lead marketing person. Alex Whitfield has way too many of those vests. <laughs> <laughs> Getting called out there like that. That's right. No, I love this touch, though, of like all the pictures you guys took around it, because it's just one of those things that it's like everybody wants a look inside. And it's so it's such a nice reward at the end of the game to kind of like, yeah, get this peek. And it was everybody. we'll get it nostalgic. Was it was uh, yeah. it was a it was an incredible dev cycle. I think that we we were able to execute on everything we wanted to uh, in the game. Do I think there were improvements to be made? Yes. I mean, the day that you think you made your best work or, or that you think you couldn't do any better is the day you stopped doing it, you know? So right. like with 2016 and really every game, the only perfect game uh, that it's ever made is was made by, by people who uh, came before us, the, our founding fathers, the original Doom games, Quake 1, Quake 2. These are... These games are perfect. Yeah. Uh, we sh we strive for perfection, but but uh, and 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 are engaged in the in the um, in the elusive pursuit of per perfection uh, to try to live up to those standards uh, that were left behind for us by the founders of ID. But uh, so many of these people are my friends, and we're very close. You know, like we hang out all the time. I mean, listen, take 
take us at face value. Like you've seen us every week here streaming the game, the stuff that I tell you. You know, there's there's no PR PR speak going on. It's just yeah. a, a very often if you uh, bad games come out of bad dev cycles and good games come out of good dev cycles. You know, like you have to you have to be able to pull it off for for three years or four years to um, and come together as a team because no one. I I really appreciate. Hey, there's Marty. I really appreciate all of the you know the the attention that I get. I get the opportunity. It's an honor for me to represent the team. But really, again, I'm I'm part of a team. You know, I have a role to play, uh, as does each member uh, of this team that that you're seeing here. Uh, but without all these people, uh, we just don't have anything. You know. And, and a talented group of individuals doesn't get it done, you know? Uh, it's got to be people who like working uh, well together. Um, we had a lot of kids during the d making of this game, you know. <laughs> uh, two babies? Yeah, a lot of ups and downs. I mean, it's it's a journey. It's it's sad to think, you know, how many of these you have uh, in, your, in your lifetime, you know? So, and I don't know that and each one is special you know doom 2016 was so special to work doom 2016 was was um was proving that we could do it again and then eternal was proving it proving that we could do it better you know like um and 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 whatever happens next will have its own you know theme to it but uh but we're headed in the in the right direction uh for sure it's been uh, it's it's been an amazing journey. I don't want to do anything else but Doom games. It's hard for me to imagine working on anything else. I love making this kind of game. Uh, I like playing it. I like talking about it. I like working with people on it. <laughs> it's <laughs> I'm uh, I'm fairly obsessed. The the um the right as are all the as are all the people here. Yeah. What else, Chad? Go ahead, ask me a question. What what do you want to know? Um. Well, this is kind of. A lead, a, a lead question around what you were just saying, and and hey, Moonfire, I see you, my beautiful baby boy. Uh, Catburger 100 says, question: Is the DLC the end of Doom, or are we just beginning to see more Doom games? Uh there are more. The Beast sleeps. Uh, that's it. He's not dead. He just sleeps. Um, and there are more Doom stories to tell, uh, for sure. The Doom universe is big. So, I'll just say that. Okay. Root Boy wants to know, what's the intern's real name? Intern. That's it. Like, <laughs> I don't know what his name is. <laughs> I like that he's just an intern. We haven't gotten to his lore yet, right? That's yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Absolutely. <laughs> I like. I have to say, if you come to ID, I've worked at a lot of places, and um, some places that are. Um, uh, on the service side, like like a blur or a, an effects company, they do work for clients, and so uh, they don't make a product. They 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 do service work, which is fantastic. I mean, places like that are made. Robert Duffy, um, and so the the office itself tends to be set up in a way that you know you're gonna in, you're gonna be having a lot of clients come and visit. So. You know they have like hangout spots and and there's a certain vibe to that kind of office which is awesome yeah and if you come there is 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 uh it's it's uh it's an it's a it's a workspace like we don't really entertain clients so it's it's got a very kind of <laughs> that's evans Evan. jesus <laughs> <laughs> that's so good uh it's got a kind of um you know vibe to it that is uh it, it's definitely about making video games. You know, it, it's not about entertaining clients. But I really like that about it, honestly. It's a um, it's a focused workspace, which is cool. Yeah, it's like it's like that think tank instead of like you said, like this like place to come in and, and people schmooze. It's like no, everybody is like hive mind on one thing all the time, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, which fits for it. It's a it's a perfect <laughs> fit for the name. And for the brand and for the, the legacy, I think. I got another question for you here. So this is coming from, oh wow, this, this user's name is Terrace Nabad. So I wonder what their favorite level is. Okay, here's the question. Uh, who opened the portal before the second phase of the Icon of Sin fight? And why is the portal green? 
I have no idea. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to so assume good. I'm going to assume Samuel, okay. you know, but I don't know. That checks out. That checks out. All right. Another question here. This is a, a, a soft softball. I'm going to put it right on the tee and just let you. This is Batnick. The question is, what's your favorite? I'm army? wearing a White Castle shirt. And that was oh, nice. me. 20 pounds lighter. Hey, it's just pandemic pounds. You'll lose them. It's no big deal. Yes. It's, it's the ebb and flow of life. Uh, Batnick wants to know, Hugo, what's your favorite army in Warhammer 40k? Probably uh, the Necrons. I, I like the way they look. Yeah. They're very cool. They are super cool. I think they have a game coming out soon. God, I can't remember what the studio is. They're the same ones that did um, Vermintide, I think. But I think they have a an FPS coming out with their army as the as the feature and focus. So that should be tight. Uh, let's see. It's awesome seeing all these people. Right? It Especially is, really... after this period of time where, you know, the last time you saw... I mean, you see these people on calls all the time, obviously, but it's different because this is the office setting the whole time that you're used to seeing, but we haven't seen for a year. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it is awesome. It takes a lot of work. It's not really work. It's fun. Ooh, this is this is this is a good one for you here. This is coming from Laura Moon ninety nine. She says, "Hey Hugo, Doom twenty sixteen and Eternal have inspired me and my team to make our own skill based power fantasy shooter. So thanks for evolving the shooter genre. Crazy question, but would you be up to give some feedback on our project and keep the awesome content? Love DLC part two. I don't know if I'm legally allowed." Um, because there's probably some, some, some contractual <laughs> thing to that. I'd love to though. Um, I used to teach, uh, and I want to get back to teaching again at the local SMU college. Uh, I love teaching. It's it's. Uh, I did it for four years, and um, it's very satisfying. So, uh, I don't think I can. That's a lame answer, but yeah. But hey, um, it's true. Um, we all belong but, to companies but keep and our it ideas. Up. Yeah, I, yeah. My my advice to you, you know, uh, stay focused. Have a have a high level idea of what it is you want to do, and and really commit to your vision. But uh, there's Steve Ash again. There he is. It's the AI programmers. Are we looping? I think. We're yeah, looping. yeah. We're in the loop phase now, which is good because I feel like I only can ever watch one of them and not two of them at the same time. Anyway. Here's a question from Mia the Fox Gaming. Question for Hugo: What AI was the hardest to design, implement, and code? Um, the Marauder, yeah. for sure. He was the hard. He's, it's crazy what he's doing. I mean, all the AI. When you look at, um, you know, what they do, uh, how they behave. So, I mean, Jake could answer that far better than me. But I would say the one that I noticed that was like. A bullet sponge AI is a kind of a piece of cake. I mean, like, mm -hmm. you know, it's just pretty standard. But uh, getting the AI to behave like the Marauder and, you know, only respond to certain things and the way he moves, you know. I love how, like, we. I think, I think it's safe to say, I know PC Gamer went for the clicks with their last article of, like, let's, let's oh, drum the up the Marauder <laughs> debate again. It's yeah, like, there's yeah. no debate, dude. Like, you know, if you're a fan of Doom, you're a fan of the Marauder. What more do you want us to do? Here's the thing. Oh my god. And he's he's god. playing with the Doom guy's toys. Oh my god. Ugh. Can you believe that this is just in-game CG? This no. is not like pre-rendered. This isn't anything. This is just our game. That's insane. It's crazy. <laughs> I love how he doesn't even look in the right direction. That's like my favorite touch. He's just like, where? What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's uh, wait. Let's listen to the uh, message. I'm sad. I'm sad that we're finishing this chat. We got to play more games. Yeah. What do you guys think? Should we? Uh, we kind of did this before, just asking in general. But what do y'all think? Should we? Uh, I'm seeing a lot of DLC. I'm seeing Let's Go. I'm seeing Play Tag One and Two. Oh yeah. Well, we got to do that. Is that what we're gonna um, do? The funny. By the way, you know, to all of the elite levels. Wait. Let's listen to this. Network in what will hopefully be our final broadcast to all the people of Earth, to anyone listening. 
The demonic horde has been defeated. The beast, identified by ARC scientists as the Icon of Sin, was destroyed earlier today by the Slayer himself. And with it, the majority of the demonic force has dispersed. With the threat decreased, it is important now more than ever that we come together. There is hope. The human race will persevere. Many of the survivors believe the Slayer to be a godlike figure in what was a battle between good and evil of biblical proportions. As humanity struggles to understand what happened to them and why, many look to the Slayer now for answers, but his whereabouts remain unknown. Let's think about that. That was, that was cool. He's the savior of Earth. Not too bad. All the days were. Not work. too bad. There is hellish argent energy pulsating through this ship. So that is one problem that uh, Doom guy, uh, you know, just kind of hanging out there. But, uh... Do I have enough to get all these? I oh, I left one yeah, because didn't... <laughs> I didn't pick up one of the keys. It's so yeah, stupid. Yeah, remember? We forgot. That is so dumb. We played them all, though. We beat them all. We did it. We did We did beat them all. Uh, and then, um... There is the one... Let's do the one, uh... Secret. Secret in here? Oh, nice. Well, yeah, you know the... Oh, yeah, yeah. While you're grabbing that, Simplu had a question. He said, uh, Hey, Josh and Hugo, quick question. What is the design process when it comes to creating master levels like? Are there any existing levels that would be considered unfit for becoming a master level, like Sentinel Prime, for example? Yeah, totally. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the combat gameplay designers will just go in there and just do a pass. It's, it's an incredible opportunity for us to uh, make content without compromise. You know, I think we're really able to obviously, you know, not worry about pacing or anything. We could just make it uh, uh, evil. Uh, evil. <laughs> but I, I would like, you know, chat, I don't know, like I, I do want there to still be pacing. I don't want to sit there and, I mean, I don't want it to be, hey, he's, we're softening up. I, I just, you know, again, I, I do think that uh, it should be have moments where we let the player just kind of enjoy themselves yeah um like right now so one of the things that people have said is that some of 2016 you know looks better because uh w what what happens with these assets is that we actually have a character light on them that uh fills in the shadows so that way you could see them uh in the spaces more easily so in 2016 the bottom part underneath his head would be dark. And so it would look more cinematic. But technology-wise, we went forward, not backwards. There's a level of fidelity here that's not seen. I mean, look at this as a friggin' video game asset. This is bonkers. Yeah, it's not. You know, but, but uh, we did. I think where Eternal will stand on its own and just will put it on the shelf and it'll always be this game is that it's, it's really, really, really the entire game is dedicated to gameplay. Like, that's it. Like, throughout development, it was just like, everything has to be geared towards gameplay. Like, if fun was the priority, not not necessarily, even at the expense of some cinematic beauty. Because I think, look, I think the fact that this has fill, so much fill, does it necessarily look sexy? Like, no, not not really. But um, it was just all about target acquisition. <laughs> I love when you switch out of that and it's just the toy sitting there. That's amazing. We're looking yeah, at yeah. this super detailed thing and you're just like... 2D chibi, gorgeous version. You know, it is. It's, it. Why do you keep making me go there? Oh, I have, you to, have to go. Start, yeah, I got the row thing. This asset looks so awesome. Yeah, I yeah. love shooting them up. I uh, the the and and I think the weak point system is really. You know, uh, this is one of my favorite AI. Uh, the weak point system and the. Uh, the destructible demon stuff, which again, that's kind of like Gore 2.0 from 2016, uh, really just shows off the AI so beautiful. I mean, sorry, is a is a living health bar, and I think uh, so much work. I mean, I, it's uh, it's uh, it's why chat. I think in a lot of cases, some of the the more recent 
you know, bugs or imperfections that you guys are calling out. I mean, I'm starting to get to the point where I'm like, after what we saw with tag one and trying to go in and mess with things, it's like, why don't we just leave, leave well enough alone? I'm getting to the point where I'm like, I'm nervous to touch this, mm -hmm. you know, like, you know, Dude, let it sit on the so shelf sick. with its, yeah, it is with, with its, uh, imperfections and all, uh, you know, I like this one a lot. John Lane designed this character. We shot a lot of these dudes. We did. It's a good game. It's a fun game. <laughs> Here's a question like for it. you. Cup of coffee or cup of cough 33. Hugo, do you think the icon of sin could defeat Godzilla? Because everything That's is versus really Godzilla tough. right now. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be a hell of a fight. That's painful. <laughs> I don't know what I would choose. I should say icon of sin, but it's Godzilla for Christ's sakes. Hardest question of the night. Answer Godzilla. That's fair. Yeah, totally. Those are the um, real questions. Why do I feel like I'm zoomed in? Because I am zoomed in. Because you're zooming. Very cool. Is that it, Josh? Are we, I, I are think, we to the end yeah, of our so, time here? Yeah, so I think we should end it with this. So first of all, we'll do our goodbyes, and then we'll end with... I had one of two things we were going to do at the end here, because we always like to... Just like life, it's important to have those carrots of things to look forward to. So depending on how the answers went with should we play more or not, I had two different versions. There was a version that was going to take that carrot and take that string and just dread night the shit out of it. It was just going to fall on the ground and die, and we were just going to move on with our lives. And then there was a better version that it seems like we're heading towards. But before we do, let's say our goodbyes. So first of all, Hugo Martin, game director of Doom Eternal, uh, and my friend, I just wanted to say... Thanks for hanging out. This has been so much fun. It's made Thursdays. Like, when we don't do this on Thursday, I sit around around 7.30 and I'm like... Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, what am I going to do? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks. No, I, absolutely. That's why we got to keep doing it. Yeah. That's why we probably should keep doing it. It sounds like we should keep doing it. I'm um, down. Yeah. Let's play Sekiro. Let's do it all. <laughs> Let's do all the FromSoft stuff. Let's do it in a single stream from the original Demon Souls, and then we'll play the PS5 one later. We'll do it all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's run it. It'd be good. Um, so everybody that's been here through this journey, whether you just joined us tonight, which is still a journey because it's been like three hours or more, or if you joined us all the way back whenever the hell it is we started this, which who knows. Thank you guys for being on this ride with us and having so much fun and being so sweet and chat and asking great questions and having great energy and giving us the reason for every Thursday to show up and do this because that's what it's all about, right? It is. Yeah. No, it's been awesome. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining us every week and listening to us nerd out, as Josh said. <laughs> um, a huge thank you to Josh for setting this all up and making it all possible this Friday Night Fights, all of the community stuff, along with uh, Manny and, and Sean Baptiste and the rest of the team. Uh, just, a, just a big shout out uh, to those guys uh, and Josh in particular for making all of this possible. And uh, we love it. We love hanging out with you guys every Thursday and talking about models and toys and things. And we got more stuff to do. I think we should have uh, uh, the show about you guys teaching me how to paint Warhammer figures, which I have so completely abandoned. It is uh, not even funny. I need to get back to it. Uh, I mean, we need some inspiration. No, Give us some inspiration. I do need yeah. some inspiration. Uh, but but no, I, I, I really, really do enjoy hanging out with you guys every week. Uh, it, it feels like family. And um, let's keep it going. Let's play, let's play Tag 1 and 2. Let's play Doom 2016. That would be fun. So you're saying we're and, gonna uh, are we gonna get the good ending at the end here? Because we have the choices, right? Yes. We have like the branching paths. We're doing the good end, huh? Well, well, you pick it, Josh. All right. Just gonna close my eyes here. Uh, I think this is the good one. What's up? So, <laughs> love you guys. Thank you guys for being here. We'll see you soon. That's a question mark. Are we gonna answer that question mark with the right button being pressed? Mm. Until then, later, Hugo. See you, bud. All right. See you later.